Da, 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 da. Alright, give me a second to just get stream avatars up and running, and then we can get started. On what uh, will most likely be the finale of Final Fantasy VI. off I want to pull this out because it might be ha it might be handy myself a nice little a nice little well it's a it's a board it's a nice little i think it's like it's supposed to be a writing tablet drawing tablet or a nice writing tablet like the, the company name from the other one i used to have was called a boogie board but it's essentially an etch -a sketch but for writing notes Actually, I've got my pen, i got my board, I just jot down a few notes, keep it there, and then when I'm done, I just hit the button, and poop, gone! I love these things. I absolutely love the these kind of things. Not sponsored, by the way. I went and just bought this. This is like a no-name brand. Mm -hmm. But I love these things. Like, don't get me wrong, I do love having, like, my board and dry erase markers and such, because they help. But this is where it's at. You don't, like, one, you don't use paper. And two, you don't use ink. Whereas with the dry erase board, you do use ink. And eventually the dry erase board gets so much stuff on it that it starts to ha it's hard to erase. You lose the erasers. The only thing with this is uh, you gotta change the battery. I absolutely love the thing. I've been looking for one of these, for another one of these, forever. Because I absolutely love them. In my opinion, they're a must-have for any gamer. Because whenever you're dealing with, like, any puzzles, 
you just gotta, you know, write down, uh, write down some notes. Alright. What gives? There we go. So, I have several goals today. Four goals in mind. As I mentioned during the last stream, there are four goals. Goal number one. Um, <laughs> I think goal number one, defeat the dragons. Goal number two, see what the dragons give me. Goal number three. I literally can't remember. I know I had four things, and I can't remember what they are. Are you telling me that I cannot remember what those... Oh, right. Cultist Tower. Okay. Yeah. Goal number one, take care of the dragons. Which I think one of them is, is in the Cultist Tower, so I might have to go there. Alright, this is where my boogie board comes into mind. Because then I can just write down... Uh... So I already dealt with uh, all the dragons except for the holy dragon, so. Alright. So, one, I gotta deal with dragons. There, we're going to Cultist Tower. And then Kepka's Tower. And in brackets. Bracket, second party, then third. Deal with the dragons, Cold of Tower, Kefka's Tower. Two. See what. Dragons. Give. And three. Defeat. Kefka. And then I can lock this so that if I push the delete button, nothing deletes. So I'll, I'll keep this note on. Perfect. So I can just move this aside now and minimize it. And I won't need it because I've got it written down. Which is perfect. So, yeah. So step one, deal with the dragons, which one of them is in the cultist tower. And two of them are in Kefka's Tower, where I need the second party. I need my main party to be the second party, and then switch them for the third party. Then I see what the dragons have to give, and then I defeat Kefka. So, that being said, I'm going to go to the tower first, because that gives me some good stuff. And there is one of the dragons there. And it should be, like, super-duper easy. Because I've got Celeste, who can cast Ultima for 1 MP. Alright. 
It's just a matter of finding it and then Ultima. And then we just sit tight. Okay, we don't get experience points here, so this is a good point to, like, give everybody some last-minute... Oh shit, Saban got... Saban got got! So, Saban, I want you to have Raiden so that he can learn quick. Uh, Terra. I guess Fenrir for stop. Cyan, I don't really care about. I don't think there's anything I really want him to have. Carbuncle, sure. Unless you are my main magic user, so let's give you Midgard Somer. What does the safety bit do again? Tiny sphere that orbits its owner's head prevents petrification, zombie, and instant death magic. Almost level that fully healed everybody. Not bad. It's just in my best interest for Celeste to just use her magic, because everything costs one, and she's got 999. Nope.
Terra learned stop. I don't know why they all died like that. A Genji shield. Hmm. Not really all that useful. If it was a Genji armor, I would have been more happy about that. Celeste learned Quake, Cyan learned Reflect. Terra's not learning anything. She finished, she already learned with Stop. She finished with Golem. Uh, so I guess she'll uh, learn Death now. It's just in my best interest to use Kuraga. <laughs> just gonna stay in here. I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to sit here and let them do their thing. I'm going to sit here and let them do their... No, why'd you use an elixir? On Cyan. That would have been better if you used it on Celeste. Yeah, I guess that's why they said that the best place to learn to level up your espers is here. Especially with these magic urns. You literally just need to sit here and let them do. Because the magic urns just heal you. Thanks, but it's Celeste you gotta be given magic to. Celeste! The arrow above her head. No. No other 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 side. Not there. Other side. Do these guys just not like Celeste or something? They're not giving her any gifts! Oh, that's why. Any gift that she gives them, or they give they give her, she rejects. I give you a remedy? Don't want that. Fine, no items for you then. So how was your day? <laughs> oh, about time. I mean I could have ran away or killed him, but I was I just wanted to see how long it would take until he finally gave something to Celeste. Which he didn't. So that's a that upsets me. There's the Dargan. What's in here? Is that a U sword or is that a Is that a U sword or is that a U dagger? That's a U-Dagger. A ninja sword that may stop, cast stop upon striking an enemy. That sounds to me like a only you item.
A knife that grows in power as the wielder's HP dwindles. This is like the opposite of the Ultima Sword. Or the Ultima Weapon. People said that this is his best weapon. But, again, like, according to what I'm reading here, it... It gets more powerful the more hurt he is. Not the other way around. So I'm keeping him with his wing edge. But, more importantly, he can't use... Um... That, that ninja sword. That is just a ninja sword. So, it's just for Shadow. Here you go, buddy. All for you. And you know what? I'm gonna give you... Is it a Kenji glove? Yeah. Yeah. Does this really do anything for me? No. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, dragon. Um. <laughs> hey, Ska! Let's -a go. There we go. I should have just had Celeste Terra use Ultima. That would have killed him instantly. Scion learned haste. Obtained the Holy Land. Two dragons remaining. That is the better weapon for you, but I think I'm gonna... I don't know, because maybe Mog needs a spear in order to actually perform a jump. Holy Lance would be good for Edgar, too. We're just gonna use Kiraga, just to get everybody healed. Uh, everyone's still learning some things. Everybody knows Kiraga, so... Ultima! Terra learned Death, Scion learned Shell, Scion learned Teleport. Alright, so Terra's done. The only one that she got left is Raiden. How you doing, Saban? 58%? Alright. I guess you can go back to Bismarck. Just to keep getting that strength. Cyan. Um... What do I want to give you? Is there anything here that could benefit us as a whole?
You get Bahamut. Take Bahamut. Learn Flare. All right, so I dealt with I dealt with the dragons in the cultist tower. That one's dead. Can't even use our abilities here. Like, no one can. Fine, I got plenty of magic. Force armor? Is that actually better than his crystal mail? Nope. It is not. Ow. Many owies. Fine. It's fine. We got this. See? Got this. Ooh, we surrounded. Soul of Amaza. Not mistaken, that is an ancient Tamazan orb that bears a wondrous power changes the magic command to dual cast. So now the question is Do I want Celeste to be like super powerful? Because <laughs> if I if I I don't know. I don't know. Cause I can make I can make Celeste really powerful just by putting on the soul of Thamaza. Cause she'll be able to cast Ultima twice. And it'll cost her two Ultima twice in one turn. It'll cost her two MP. That would make destroying the rest of the dragons super easy. Or, I go give the soul of Thamaza to the, uh, the Colosseum, and I think that gives me another Celest Triad, which I could then give to Terra, so then Terra can cast magics with one MP. And then at that point, all hell breaks loose.
Lord Kepka's treasure. Return the treasure. How do you, what, what, why did you walk up the stairs and then all of a sudden, now you can fly? Where? Ultima! Big ouchies! How do you knew Haska? All right, Faraga. Barrier change. Flare. Wake! Well, science dead. Single Mega Elixir. At least we managed to survive the Ultima. And now we take the long trip back down. Ow. Celeste of Gravity Gun Tornado. She finished. I mean, she still hasn't finished with Drain. And Sloga. It's swap, it swap places. <laughs> Save and learn quick. Cyan learn flare. Can I like... Custom. Can I take, like, Ultima and, like, bring it up here? Put it to Regan? We'll put it, like, next to Poisona. 
Right next to Kiraga. You know what? We're gonna do this. Kira Kiraga. Kira Kira Kiraga. All right here. Like, all right here. Raise, arise. Let's just swat. I don't need raise anymore, so we're putting a rise right there. So that way, when I load up, just boop. Actually, for you, put Kiraga at the top. So it's just boop, boop, go. And a rise is like right next to it. I mean, Esuna, Esuna there is good as well. So we'll put Ultima. I'm going to put Ultima where Cura is, because, again, I don't need Cura or Cure. Curaga cast costs the same amount, so I don't need them. I just need these three spells, and with Esuna on, as, a, as a backup. And then for Hera, custom. For Terra, I'll do it this way. Cura, 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 Curaga, or Rise will go at the top. Then we'll bring Ultima over here. Also bring up like holy and flare. There. We'll do this, but we're gonna swap. Yeah, we'll do that. Same thing. Kira, Kira, Kiraga. Arise right there. Essena Poison. Uh, nothing else, though. Just your... Just make sure your Kira, Kira, and Kiraga are in, like, the same row or the same column. That way it's a little easy to manage all the spells. So I'm not just trying to look for them. Like, watch. Bam. Esuna. That easy. It's just that easy, folks. Is there anything else we'd like Saban to have while I'm here? You know, Blair, what if we teach him holy? Sure, why not? Cyan knows, uh... Cyan knows Flare. Oh, we'll teach him Imp. Ultima!
Oh, you have me surrounded, eh? Ultima! What ya Dead. Saving her protect shell and a spell. Doesn't exactly fully heal Saban, but actually no, that didn't actually fully heal Para either. Yeah. All I wanted was for a Saban to learn holy. It's also learning these new spells. Oh, come on. Cyan Confuse. Well, Cyan is dead. Bling, bling. Hold on, not done yet. Shyan learned the imp. Good job with learning the imp. That's actually what I wanted him to learn. That way, if anybody gets imped, he can revert it. Oop, nope, Ultima. Glad for the ethers. I won't need them though. Okay, the Megalix is at the bottom. Just, you know, knowing where it is. Just in case. All right, everybody go back to getting um, what they had before all this. You had this. You had this for Magic Plus 2. Uh, you were doing Strength, so you had... You had Bismarck, which you already have on, okay. Uh, you go back to Bahamut. And I guess you go Midgar Somer for the time being. Now the 
question is what to do with that soul of the Maza. I just went through that whole thing basically just for that. What do I do with it? Do I equip it to Celeste and make her, like, the most powerful? Because if she can cast Curaga twice, I'm guaranteed a full heal. Or, if I go and give it to um, Hera, or, you know, I go to the Coliseum here, give it up for a, a Celeste Triad, and give that to Terra, that makes it so that all her spells cost one. Tough choices. Tough choices. This also means that her magical and physical attack will go down, because she'll need to... But it won't matter. Because if I do this, let's say if I do this, then if two people go down, she can be like, arise, arise. And then she gets them back up. Or... She could do, like, a Kiraga and then an Arise. Or, every turn, she could do Kiraga Ultima. There's so many different choices. This, like, opens up with so many possibilities. Like, Celeste now has become my most powerful character. Alright, now that that's done. We got two more dragons to kill. All right, going in. So, I'm... I just thought of something funny. What if I just said Celeste on her own? I don't hate She is strong enough that she can take the things on her own. I might be able to eliminate both dragons in one go. The question is, who do I bring with them? Who do I bring? I could bring Edgar. Could bring Edgar. Though he's not as powerful as they are. Ooh, everyone else is gonna die. Everyone else is gonna die. Bang, 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 bang. 
I'm gonna do it. <laughs> what? Warring Triad awaits. All right, Celeste, you got this. All oh, right, there's a there's a whole bunch of them. I forgot they're all stacked on top of each other. Oh, come on. This is stupid. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it. Kaboom. That was fun. How about some more? Yes. This is dumb. This is dumb. It shouldn't be working. Another one? Oh, I didn't realize there was another one. I'm going to do that because I want to give Cyan the Genji armor. So that he finally gets a freaking upgrade there in that regard. And that gives Terra um, some more MP. Yeah, now she has almost 900, 999. Mwah. Wunderbar. All right. Keep going, Celeste. Oop, did I cast that right? Ultima! Kaboom! Kapling! Doesn't matter, they're dead. Pinwheel. I think I come from there. What's the pinwheel for? Oh, use the throw command, yeah. There's the dragon. Oh, that's not the dragon. That's not the dragon. Hold on. Hold the phone. Seriously? See, that was just uncalled for. Ultima Buster. I am known with the one known as Ultima. Forged an eternity ago. I was placed here. And then forgotten in the mists of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. Oh, 
You got this, Celeste. Oh, come on. Bling, bling. Miss. Ultimate again. No. Nah. That was fun. How about some more? What's that? You can't hurt her? Mmm, delicious. Ultima. Had that not, like, absorbed, I would have just used Kiraga. Ultima no Jutsu. <laughs> Dead. The last solo run, let's go! <laughs> You got this, Celeste! Wah, 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 bonk! You're not allowed! Ultima! Get out of here! You finished the Stalling Final Fantasy 14, by the way? About damn time. Uh... What's this? Metal Hitman? Do you guys need an Ultima? Kaboom! This is broken. I've literally made Celeste broken. Oh, okay. That's not where I want to get. Only took half a day because the client doesn't like big updates. Kept crashing after downloading like 8 gigs. Oof. But at least you got it, finally. Level up! Cool, she got 7,000 HP now. And her magic went up, so she'll be able to heal more. Alright, I'm gonna go to that one. But, you leveled up, so let's use Kiraga to heal you. Playing Final Fantasy XIV is always fun. Streaming or not, it's always fun. Whenever I don't have anything to stream, I'm just like, you know what? Final Fantasy XIV. Or Shield. Okay, so if I go down, well, both will lead me to the thingamabob. Oh, wait, that takes me back up. Aww. <laughs> Just a Aww. Poor Celeste. Disappointed. Do y'all want to die? Boom. Blip, blip. Dead. Have another. This is so fucking broken.
Don't worry, this gets harder. Bling. Ultima. Because getting Celeste to point to the main point is one thing. Getting the rest of the party to the same point is another. There you are. Die! Celeste versus the Gold Dragon. Take this! No. Have another! I counterattack with Ultima! I think I've made Celeste broken. Ah, <laughs> oh, Benny, I'm actually using Ultima Chop! Okay, I'll just slash with my sword. Does the same amount of damage. Chop! Bye! I've literally made Celeste broken. <laughs> Crystal Orb. One dragon remaining. What's a Crystal Orb do? Powerful magic orb that holds a mysterious power boosts maximum MP by 50%. Uh... Sorry to tell you this, but, uh... That's not needed. <laughs> the last already has max MP. And... And even Terra has, like... Even Terra, I think, is, like, close to half MP. Yeah, she's almost got max. She's at 993. She needs, like, six more. Even more MP. See, I still gotta. Get, I haven't even moved these two other groups. I still gotta get them to the end of the dungeon. All right, Celeste completed her mission. Terra, it's now your turn. Ooh, another red cap? Ooh, that might actually be better on Terra. Yes, the Crystal Helm raises her defense and magic defense, but she, she loses, like, five defense and two magic defense. I'm willing to, give, to make that sacrifice for more strength and, more importantly, more health. She's almost got max health now. Brain Blast! Oh god. This guy's just this these guys just Jimmy Neutron them. Chop. 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 See, not as broken as, as Celeste, but still.
I'm a pity pal of pretty pal of wiener. Nutkin suit. Um, is that better than the behemoth suit? Well, not really. An oversized squirrel costume. Let's put the old man in it. Ooh, another gauntlet. Ooh. Ooh. There are so many choices I could do with that. Like, if I give you the other gauntlet... Putting on the royal crown, my dude. You're going to also put on the alarm earring so that you and your party don't, uh, you know, get. Sneak attacked. Gamma. Ooh, he's got gamma rays. Look at that. Oh, cool. I can use Ultima again. Five minutes are up. Might turn someone into the Hulk. Careful of those gamma rays. Okay, that was just the items. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we gotta get rid of this Malboro like ASAP. Thank you. Ow. Miss. Miss. I love how Celeste did the job of four people. That's what I find really hilarious. Another hero's ring? Okay. Play Mobius Final Fantasy again. Such a good game. But not the one where you're like the. Oh shit. I'm gonna save because this might be. I remember this. Um... Yeah, you. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, never mind. I was I was worried for nothing. Goodbye, dude. He tried. I'm gonna use one of my many tents. I'm gonna just take a nap.
I'm kind of sad because, uh, like, there's also, there was also a Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And that was a good game, and they're, they're shutting it down. Like, it's, it's gonna be no more soon. When I heard that, I was, I was really sad. That's going up, isn't it? Yeah, so I gotta come up from there. Ooh, I don't... Ooh, Mega Elixir! Rainbow Brush! A paintbrush that's beautifully pat with a beautifully patterned handle. I think that's Realm's best weapon. Doesn't make her any more viable as a party member, but hey, she has a, a good weapon now. Got a teleport stone. No, Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. It was a good it was a good RPG because it was a Final Fantasy game that took all the characters, all some of the main characters of Final Fantasy from 1 all the way to 15 and you were in a turn-based RPG basically. You could choose whatever characters you wanted as long as you got them. It was a a gotcha game. But once you got the character, you could use whichever one of the main characters you wanted to. Ow! I loved it because it allowed me to use a lot of my favorite characters. Maybe I should have gotten Terra that, uh... I think Terra hurt her knee. Oh, we're here. Alright, Terra. You think you can do this? The final dragon! Skull dragon! Doom! Dude, nothing to steal. Okay. Jump. Okay, done. <laughs> 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 Muscle Belt. All eight dragons have been defeated. The Eightfold Seal is broken. Obtain Crusader Magicite. Greatly damages all enemies and allies? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Meltdown and Meteor. Meltdown ignores magic defense. I'm sorry? Nuke everything and everyone. Yep, that is exactly what it is. Ooh. Wait, is this it? Like... I could have sworn defeating the eight dragons gave me, uh, something. I thought it gave me something. Is 
Defeating all eight dragons break the seal placed on the Esper Crusader. A thousand years ago, giving Crusaders magic sight to the party. The eight legendary dragons are optional bosses that can be killed in any order, although it may be simpler to defeat them before visiting Kefska's Tower as it avoids additional trips to the final dungeon. Can I get into there? Because I didn't get the tablet. There's the big question. Is this a thing in the Pixel Remaster? No, I don't think so. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no, that's it. That's all I needed from them. So, the dragons only really gave me the Crusader uh, Esper. And the dungeon that I was reading up and it said that gave me that they were supposed to unlock is only in the GBA version or the weird Steam port one. The weird Steam port remake. Not like in this Pixel remaster. I guess they were trying to go for like, oh, this is close to the original with some fixes. And that seems to be the, the case. 
So, in that case... Let's go kill Kepka. All right, Celeste has arrived. Good, at least they're regularly regularly attacking and not freaking. I don't think that helped. That did, though. Damon leveled up. Almost at max level. Or max HP. Boom. All right, the door's open for Ed for Edgar and his group. Actually, do I have the, the ward bangle? Put on the ward bangle. This is terrifying. Yeah, all being at level 32, trying to get through this. Very, very scary! Somebody needs to backtrack to help Edgar and the group. I don't know who, but somebody needs to backtrack. Bad. 
It's actually safer for me to explore here as... There we go. As Celeste. Oh, another ribbon! Go Amaro. Rain Blast. One, two, three. right? Good. Another pinwheel. I don't know why I tried that fight, because I figured it'd be easy and they could do it. And they did! Celeste? So this is basically how you could actually get through this with uh, three characters. And only three characters each. Like, total. Because if you can make Celeste this powerful, then, like, you could just do the same with Edgar and uh, Setzer. And then win the game like that. God. I was like, someone run, please. 
He's just like, why you run from me? I should have done this the other way to make a Celeste go forward. I didn't think of this. I didn't think this through, but okay. This group's taking care of this. Got some force armor. Chop. Handled. I'm just glad it wasn't like Edgar. If it was Edgar and his group, we would have been in danger. Demon. By lock. Oh no, he survived. Jump. Zion's the one doing most of the work here. Zion crushed it. <laughs> Radiant Lance. Where 
We're gonna give that to Mog so that he can do way more damage with his jumping. Kinda wish I could have handled that with just Celeste alone, but. Oh, hold on. Tara, I kind of need you to come back. I may have, uh... I may have done goofed. Killed something. Good job, Locke. You did it. Yeah, Tara, I may need you to go push a button. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> this is not gonna go well. And I don't think there's any way to, like, swap them. And if I tried to leave, it might reset everything. You got this. You got this, Celeste, right? You've got this. You can beat the goddess. Try again. She's like, huh, that didn't work. Let me try again. <laughs> oh no, the goddess is hot. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually a boss of Final Fantasy XIV. But they actually gave her a name and everything. Okay, that didn't work. Try again. No. You got a lot of health. No. And we got Excalibur. So it's just like, yeah, I did that. The legendary Holy Sword. More strength. But I think I may want to give it to, yeah, if I give it to Edgar. That may give, that may give him a chance in the upcoming fight.
keyword there, may. I'm kind of terrified from this fight that's coming up. Maybe I should have given, like, if Edgar can't do this and I have a lot of difficulties with it, I'm going to have to go back to the exit and give Edgar, um, like, give the third party, like, one of my best characters. All right. Whew. Whew. Okay. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Oh, it's not gonna go well. I know I just gave everybody, like, some good weapons. Their armor sucks. And their health and everything sucks. I should give you the Gladius, because that gives you races your evasion. Uh, have the Gladius. I know it's going to say that the, you know, the Ichigeki is better, but... Literally, your attack is already 255, and you can't go any higher. I might as well get that evasion. You already got a Genji Glove on. Um, where is your... Boost maximum HP by 50%. Ooh. You know what, Edgar? You're going to have the Muscle Belt. And then you will have... Uh... Ribbon. Just take a ribbon. There. That at least gives Edgar a fighting chance. The Fiend. Mies. Everyone else is frozen, though. Oh, fuck! Ah! Uh... We got a problem! <laughs> Is this gonna come down to Umaro? He's using a lot of ice moves, and Umaro absorbs ice. No, Mog. Oh, I don't know, because if um No, I think I can continue a fight if Umaro's there. Is this actually going to come down to tomorrow? Oh no! Oh no! What is this? You can do it tomorrow! Go! Boom. 
Okay, so, um... Hi. Oh. <laughs> What's up? I could just reset. But, the thing is... I'm... Winning? Here is my uh, pro gamer tip for this fight. Bring Umaro and make sure he has all of his all of his uh relics on. You win. You just win. This guy can't this the fiend can't kill Umaro. This is stupid, but I love it. No, Amaro, what are you doing? The problem is, Umaro, you don't control Umaro, so he just does his own thing. Oh, the guy stopped attacking. Okay, he kept going. I used to have this song downloaded too. Back in the day, when I would play a lot of uh, the Ninja RPG. That was a fun game. Man, it sucks that that's down. Oh, Amaro, you're doing things? Cool. Amaro's doing things. Reverse polarity? Ah. Umaro, why'd you do that? You just healed him. I mean, I know he's healing you, but... Oh. Is the Ninja RPG not down? Is it back up? Did they take it down specifically for, like... <gasps> it's not... Oh my god... Although it uses AI now? I don't care. This is exciting. Oh, but you can only pick like two villages now. Instead of like the abundance that there was. There's only two. Kenoki and Silence. I've completely lost interest in what's going on in the game. <laughs> Umaro's just having his fight, okay? Just let Umaro have his fight. He'll win! Don't worry, he'll win. I have complete faith in Umaro. If he wouldn't do stupid things like Snowstorm. <laughs> oh. 
Bonk. Uh. What? There's only like... There's only like... There's, there's no blonde for hair color. Umara! Do I need to remove Snowstorm from you? In order to win this? Seriously. This is... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is stupid. Meanwhile, I'm here um, setting things up for... Uh, hmm, let me see. Blue, skin color, light... Soft features. You know what? Some glasses, too. This is... I'm, I'm curious about that. Long hair. Oh. oh. What? They changed things? So, like... It's like an alpha version now? Welcome to the early access phase for the Ninja RPG Core 4. Things may not look the same. Some things just don't straight up work. <clears throat> Same primarily battle and travel system and a few related systems such as Jutsu training, item shops, hospital, and bloodline rolling. Cool, you reversed the polarity. Good for you. That's why he uh, wasn't doing as much damage. Because he was in the back row. Jesus Christ. It doesn't help that he keeps healing the goddamn guy. Glad they brought back Mad Cow. Ninja Cat, Ninja Crab, Spider, Ninja Fox, Mutated, yeah, Spirit Yeti, Ice Wolf, Again and Dropout.
I think he needs that snowstorm, though, because that's what's allowing him to absorb um, Blazaga. This is what's keeping him alive, is the snowstorm. It sucks that he has to keep using it, but... Umaro shouldn't be allowed to uh, be frozen. He's a freaking Yeti. Miss, miss, double miss. Good. This poor, this poor fiend is just like, why can't I kill him? Now, I think Umaro is indeed doing more damage. Like, he is doing more damage than he is healing. Even with his weakest attack, I think he's still doing the same amount of damage. That's a problem, though. See, now he has to do 500 more damage in order to make up for the damage he just caused against... with his snowstorm. Can I speed this up? I'm just going to speed this up. Just speed it up. Don't do Snowstorm. There we go. There, he at least made up for the 500 damage that he did to the enemy. And he's frozen again. I know, I know, I could reset. I could easily just reset. And then try this again with a better character, like, setup. But how funny would it be if Umaro won this? Let Umaro have this! 
This is his crowning glory. Fiends are trembling. He's now immune to holy energy. Uh oh. Well, <sighs> he was winning. He got to the second phase. Dark swirling orb that absorbs ice and negates fire damage. Equip on the end to see what happens. Yeah. See, he absorbs fire and ice and negates uh, lightning. Okay, no, this party can't handle that. Celeste, I need you to... Can you? Can you make your way back? Oh, can we even go back? Are we stuck here? Uh-oh. Did I soft lock myself? No, 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 no. One of us knows teleport, right? Yeah, okay. One of us knows teleport. We can easily just get out of here. Not grinding Beast Boy and Yeti to level 99. All right, Celeste. Get us out of here. All right, we're going back in. All right, we're going in. Still gonna put Celeste alone, because that's funny. Um, I think I'll put her here so that she goes deals with that. And then I'll still have Terra, Sabin, Cyan, and Locke. Edgar, Shadow, Mog, and Umaro. Still have the same party makeup. Actually, hold on, just in case. Let's get rid of uh, uh, Shadow. Let's swap Shadow for... Um, Sabin. There. Now, each party member has, like, one of my best characters. That should make them it's significantly better.
right, Celeste, you got this. Boom. Boom. Like I said, she's got this. Now she's on the side that Edgar and them were, so she should be able to handle that statue. I don't know what reset, if anything, after going through this. I don't know if it reset the whole thing, or if, uh, if I have to, like, fight certain bosses again. I'm just really happy that I found out that the Ninja RPG's back. So they were just shut down for temporarily. Uh, who needs to go there? Oh, crap. I think it's Edgar. I think it's Edgar and the gang. What was shut down temporarily? The Ninja RPG. It, it's an old text-based video game that I played a, a long time ago. It's, it's, it's like a text-based, turn-based RPG um, that was heavily based, that was heavily based by, on Naruto. So you basically create your own ninja. The website that I use, um, here, I'll, I'll put it in the, I'll put the whole ULR. That should be it. I played it years ago. Like, I played it when it first came out. And a while ago, it got shut down, and uh, I thought, okay, that's because nobody wanted to play the game anymore. I was a little confused, because they have a Bleach version, like, kind of the same game, but for Bleach. And I was like, why is the Bleach one still up, but the Ninja RPG is down? But, uh, no, I went and looked. Looks like they were just getting ready for Core 4, as they call it. Bye, Umaro. I need to look in and actually see, like, what they've changed and... Because it seems like one of the things they changed was, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Bye, Edgar. Yes, this is the early access part of it is uh, Core 4. That is technically the early access of it. Ooh, you're at an MP. Fuck, Mog. I 
I didn't realize I was using a lot of your MP. Yeah, that's one of the changes, is the, uh, the two villages now. There used to be a lot more. But now there's just Kanoki and Silence. Kanoki, um, at one point, used to be the Leaf Village. And that was the more popular one. And it makes sense, considering Kanoki, Konoha. Ow. Guess Silence of the Sound Village? Pretty much, yeah. They used to have a whole bunch. There was like Kanoki, Glacier, Sound, Cloud. Um, oh, fuck. I didn't think you could do that. And they used to have events, too, because there was once upon a time they had an event where, like, these super strong AI opponents would wander around the world and even enter villages. And if you were not resting, they would attack you and they would fuck you up. ba <laughs> But the way the game worked, I don't know if it, it does that right now, because I haven't I, I haven't played it again. Oh, I gotta go do that. Who has that? I think that's Terra. Um, the way the game worked was Nope, not dealing with that. You had you started as an academy student, and then at level ten you could become a Genin. Or you would rank up to a Genin, and then you, at level 20, you became a Chunin, and then at level 30, you were a Jonin, um, at level 40, you became what was called a Special Jonin, and when I started, that's as far as it went, but I think they made even more ranks after that. Let me see this. Let me see this ninja. Let me see this ninja. Oh, that is a badass looking ninja. <laughs> kind of looks like, uh, kind of looks like if Sasuke grew old and, uh, you know, he became, a, like, a mentor. Like, really old, I mean. Yeah, by, like... Well, now, when I say I played this a long time ago, I mean, I first learned of this game back in high school. That was... <laughs> it was grade 10? So... That would have been 2005?
Like, that's how old this the, the ninja RPG is. It's locked. Like it was it was first made in 2005 and has been only like updating since. Soul Shackles is... Soul Shackles? Is that a Genjutsu? Wait, you're learning Soul Shackles already? As an Academy student? Did they change things? <laughs> it's like, hold on! Hold on! Oh, wait, no, I need to go in here. You have Soul Shackle, Electric, and Snare. It sounds like they increased the, uh... Or changed, like, what Jutsus you can learn right off the bat. Because as an Academy student in the original, you could only learn the clone technique, the replacement technique, and the transform technique. That was the only thing you could learn at the beginning of the game. Until you got to level 10. You find someone with Genjutsu and then surround your opponent in lightning tendrils that stun your opponent. Yeah, some of the Gen the Genjutsu was always fun in that game. I don't again, I don't know what's changed. It sounds like a lot has changed, and I'm kinda shocked. Okay. I gotta do this right. Celeste has to go to the left. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I'm gonna look at that list. Whoops, that's not it. That's that's the website for the. Ooh, okay, they got pictures now. Chakra palm, swallows fight. Let me get a swallows flight. Venomous phobia, primate assimilate. Hydra spears, clone technique. Replacement Technique, Soul Shackles, Sonic Slash, Searing Might, Fireball, Beast Claw, Illusion, Blizzard, Lullaby, Rio Please, excuse me? Brandish Flames, Glyph Blade, Poisonous Sebon, Water Shuriken, Desert Illusion, Veil of Shadows, Sh Sh Shrapnel Clone Barrage, Heaven's Tempest, Iron Fist, Electric Maw, Electric and Snare, Eclipse Cyclone, Flash Pulse, Liver Shot, Parry, and Summoning Titan, Titan Oboa. Apart from the clone technique and the replacement technique, um, I'm pretty sure those are all new spells, or all new uh, jutsu. Ryu, you think, is medical? Well, because Ryu, Ryo in the game is the currency. If I'm not mistaken, that was the currency. Up, 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 up. Okay, I want... Which direction Celeste goes is important. Hopefully not all the bosses are... Like, hopefully they're all dead. Ryu is stealing from an AI. Okay, that makes sense. Celeste, you go this way.
Make sure that he's not standing under it, because under it, that'd be bad. Yeah. No, they completely overhauled the game then. Like, that is a complete overhaul. Unless they're allowing you to, like, learn all those techniques from the get-go in this, uh, you know, early access. I can I have so many stories about the ninja RPG. Back in the day it was just text. It was not there was no pictures, very few pictures. Oops, wrong way. Hold on, hold on, Tara. Tara, hold on. There was like very few pictures, but uh Goddamn did did like we have a lot of fun. Just pictures to back it up. Because what I used to do is I'd like... It would be summer or whatever, and I would go on my computer at night, like when everybody went to bed. I would put on some Final Fantasy music. And uh, I would just play the Ninja RPG for hours on end. And that's how long it took to, like, level up and such. Once you get to the higher levels. You needed to grind. It's a good it's a good game for, like... You know... Something to do... When you're like, oh, uh, let's start training. Alright, now I go back and... Back to work, you know? And then you come back to it and go, oh yeah, my training's complete. Okay. Bitch. Think you can beat the less? You pushed around Edgar and Umaro and all them, but do you think you can take on Celeste? I doubt you can. Okay, good. The uh the other statues are still dead. Wonderful. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> Celeste's gonna fuck you up. Ultima! Ding. No. Have another. Ow. No. <laughs> no, no, no! Ah! Ooh. Da -bling. Are we on your second phase yet? Huh? Also, try to try to reverse my polarity. I dare you. Ultima. My spells don't work. Ugh. Fiend's aura is trembling violently. No. Ultima. Targeting. Beep, beep, beep. Ultima. Celeste is just like, Ultima! Fire's back. 
Team's Ultima. That's what I thought. Ultima's just to be big Vegeta's big bang attack. <laughs> so I just, now I just can't stop imagining Celeste just going, Bazinga! And just, boom! Yeah! We destroyed the Warring Triad! But the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could Kefka have extracted the very source of the magic from them? Where are you? A mysterious katana that sometimes parries enemy attacks. Here you go! I just love that I, I, like, I tried to defeat him with Edgar's team. It didn't work. So I six Celeste on them. Here we go. Here we are. Welcome, friends! I knew you'd come, so I've been practicing my greeting. How much do you have to destroy before you'll have to have your fill, Kefka? I've acquired the ultimate power. Observe. Significant, such magnificent power. You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Embrace your destruction! It is the fate of all things! To be destroyed? Maybe it is, but people can always rebuild, and new lives will always be born. And time will destroy all those as well! Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why do people cling to life knowing they must someday die? Knowing that none of it will have meant anything once they do. Another form of loss? Nihilism. What does it matter when you're going to lose it anyway? Because it's not the end that matters. It's knowing you have something to live for right now at this moment. Something you've worked for. Something that's worth protecting. As long as you have that, that's enough. And did you f all find your somethings in this broken world that's dying itself? Why collect all this power if you lose it anyway? Yes. Love! A person worth protecting. A wife and child who live on with me. Friends. And family. And soul paid. A peaceful kingdom. A loving brother who is always who always looks out for me. <laughs> Someone willing to accept me for who I am. New pals, Koopo! You people make me sick! You sound like lines from a self-help book! If that's how it's going to be, I'll snuff them all out! Every last one of your sickening, happy little reason for living! No, Kefka, stop! Be.
I wield the greatest power in existence. You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots. Or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. I'll destroy everything! I'll create my own empire of death! You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No! When I'm through, there won't be anything left to dream about! We won't let you hurt more, any more people. <laughs> but what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? Gonna train all your stuff to the point where you can't train anymore and then you will do your first fight. You see, the first time I played that game, I was like, oh, cool, there's, there's combat in this game. So I went and fought, and I died to a mad cow. And then I had to wait, like, a while before my health could regen. Beam. Now, in the original... The best way to do it was, like, you had to train all your defenses. Your, like, ninjutsu defense, genjutsu defense, uh, taijutsu defense, and weapon defense. And then you had to pick, like, one or two offenses. And then train those up. When I first played, I went weapons. Because I was like, weapons are cool! Let's do some cool weapon techniques! But then every time I went back, I always went Genjutsu, because Genjutsu is just cooler. And it's totally underused in the anime. It ends here, Kepka! Alright, let's do this. So. This will be the main team that fights Kepka immediately. All these guys will come into battle... When one of these four go down. So, 12 characters. Oddly enough, for some reason, I can't use Realm or Strago. So, Celeste so Solo. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm, t I'm tempted. I am so tempted. <laughs> he could probably do it, but I'm afraid that, like, Kepka will do, like, a one-shot kill. And then I'm boned. So, I'm gonna go with my original team. And then, uh, Edgar, you come in afterwards. Oh, you know what? No. Locke comes in afterwards, followed by, uh, Edgar... Followed by Shadow. Followed by Mog. And then finally, we go Amaro. I'm missing a third character. Who is it? Because I'm missing Realm. Strago. Who, who's, who's not coming here? Oh, yeah, Setzer. That's why. That's why they're not here. I know why. I didn't bring them with me. They stayed behind in the airship. That's why they're not here. <laughs> I didn't bring them with me. Because I had I had Celeste all by herself. There would have been her other three characters. Whoopsie! Those three are just in the airship, just like... Yep. Not like we, uh, we had anything to do against, uh, we had any grudges against Kefka. Nope. No siree. Whatever, let's go. Durr. Reverse polarity.
Jump. Jump. Moving on up. Surprising amount of naked people. And an Ultima just for shits and giggles. Miss. Ten hit combo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ultima. Next stage. Ultima! Make Terra go Super Saiyan. Alright, here it comes. The best song in the game. And you thought Sephiroth did it first. Nah, let's go. Life, oh, dreams, oh, where do they come from and where do they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all. This is Dancing Mad. Ah, oh, fuck. Ugh. Bop. 
Bye, Saban. And he's dead. <laughs> we done. Tower's collapsing. There's no time to lose. Come on, the airship's just ahead. I forgot about Gao and Gogo. -Go. Come on, everybody. We can make it if we work together. Tara, what's wrong? Uh, those are all our S. Oh, God. Magicite. Magic is disappearing. If espers are fading from the world, what'll happen to Terra? Come with me. I can use the last of my power to guide you out. You ever feel that you over prepared for something? <laughs> That's me just now. I feel like I over prepared for that fight. No, because you don't look to do nine 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 damage with every hit. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't cheat. I did exactly what the game gave me. Everything that the game gave me. Cyan, Naz. Cyan Garamonde. Cyan, could you hit that switch? I, um, mechanical devices are not my strong point. I do believe I'm getting better, though. That's her, it's Setzer Gabbiani. This makes it act like it's a whole play or anything. Bonk. Wait, wait. Whenever you think you're right, you're wrong. And that's a big mistake. That was what you always used to say, wasn't it, Daryl? Buki Jutsu? Uh. Why does that sound like weapon jutsu, but. Edgar. Edgar Roni Fagaro. Saban has. Saban Rene Fagaro. This would be the moment if I, like, named the characters differently. It would say, like, the character that I named them, and then what the real name was. It's not like I wanted to dump all that responsibility on you. I knew you'd look out for the kingdom. I wanted to be able to look out for you. That's why I went off to become stronger. got his finger out, but it looks like he's giving the middle finger. Mog! As? 
Mog. Help me, Koopo! second best character Umaro as Umaro oh man that skull and crossbow just killed all those tiny moogles crane game champion hell yeah Celeste is trying won't open Ooga. Oh God! <laughs> Umaro best character. I really wish Umaro could have won that fight. Go go ass. Go go. Who I never used. Not once. Both buttons have to be pressed at the same time in the exact same way. Go, go. Mimic Celeste. You want to be a Yeti in Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> Gow, as... Gow. Shortcut! Take shortcut! Gow, we didn't even use you. Shortcut! Take shortcut! <laughs> Rock riding! Lock as... Lock pull. Celeste as... Celeste share. Celeste will always be my favorite character. I love her storyline. I love the way she acts. I love her abilities. Come on, this place is breaking apart. Yoink. Are Locke and Celeste related? No. They are lovers. Locke! I won't let go. I promise. Are you crazy? You almost got your skill killed for that. Tara as... Tara Branford. How did a weakling who can't crit pull her up? I don't know. What I don't understand is she could have just, you know, Ultima. Ultima solves everything. Oh, her dad. Father? Tara, we must part now. We espers will disappear from this world. You may fade away as well. But perhaps if the human part of you feels something strong enough, then maybe... Just maybe you'll be able to remain here as a human. Dad, her father is truly dead now.
Realm as. Realm Aroni. <laughs> nah, being human sucks. <laughs> Grandpa, you can't give up yet. Sorry, dear. Are you any more whining out of you and I'll paint your picture? Oh, no, anything but that. But you know, someday, I really would like to paint your portrait. On canvas, I mean. Oh, Realm, look what you've done. You've made me all go misty-eyed. I didn't hear the I didn't see the rest. Shadow as. Shadow. This also hints at character relationships, because Realm's music blends right into shadows. Go on, Interceptor. Get going. Take care of yourself, boy. Barrup, looks like I can finally stop running. Come and find me, all right? Strago, as... Strong Omegas. Come on, Strago, you can't let yourself be shown up by a bunch of kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, he just threw out his back for the rest of his life. And you. Me? You don't even know who I am. Who am I? Follow me. The last piece of magicite. Terra, you've done enough. Your power's getting weaker. Pretty sure I voiced them all. True enough. <laughs> blue -doo, blue -doo. Terra isn't going to be able to hold out much longer. Don't give up hope, Katarin. I won't either. Oh, there was words. Eh. Not yet. Terra? Terra! Hey, we got her. No, no nobody help. Just just watch the less polar. Thank you, Setzer. I told you, didn't I? She's the fastest ship in the world. 
<laughs> and everybody laughs. <laughs> Just imagining a cape flip. <laughs> okay, now they're on credits. I still love Final Fantasy VI. I find that with this playthrough, I didn't like it as much, but that's because I realized you could save Sid, and as I mentioned before, I don't like it when you save Sid. I think the story is so much better. So. Really? 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 I feel like there's a few people that would actually laugh at that joke. Now, I do like this pixel remaster. Though, I feel like it is a good version to play. It's up there, especially with the original. Uh, though, I feel like because of some of the censoring, the original is actually better when it comes to the story. Some of the slice of life, like being able to run automatically, also kind of made it, you know not need the sprint shoes unless yeah it it made things way too easy for that matter again everything with like ultima and is casting it with like one spell and casting it twice you could do that in the original that was in it that doesn't change anything But I, I feel like I slightly prefer the original over this one. So if I was ever to play Final Fantasy VI again, I'll probably do the original. When it was known as, like, Final Fantasy III. Now, as far as, uh... Because originally, I was saying that Final Fantasy VI was my one of my favorite Final Fantasies. And, like, the last time I played it, it became one of my Final Fantasy favorite Final Fantasies because of how it made me feel. Like, when I played the game and saw the story, like, there were moments when I, like, looked into the actual storyline and focused on it, and it nearly made me cry. This playthrough did not. I did not feel anything. And I think it's mostly because of Sid. Sid surviving. It did nothing for me. Hashtag sin should die. Because sin surviving also made some of the other bits of the story not make sense. So, like, just right there when Celeste was running away and the whole thing started to fall and Locke caught her and lifted her up, well, she dropped a headband. And that was Locke's headband that she is supposed to find on the island. But in this playthrough, she didn't get that. Like, I didn't get that item. So, technically, she shouldn't have it. But 
that's why like the headband is so important. Hey, she had a baby. Wait, did the kids deliver the baby? I feel like this would do better in, uh, like, an actual remake. What, what? Edgar was about to put the moves on Celeste, but Celeste just immediately walks away and walks next to Locke. Time for a Terra new sprite. New, new, new sprite for Terra. Let's go. Woo! Terra without her, her without her hair back. The end. Don't get me wrong, Pixel Remaster did a lot of things right. The music, for instance, ah, ah. I'm pretty sure, like, it still brought the great f familiarity when it came to the music. And they were still great tracks, and they improved them greatly. Defeated Kefka and restored peace. Yeah, it's still called Dancing Mad. And that one is still called Searching for Friends.
I like that Omaro is, is, is the one singing here. He's just going on a nice little jaunt. But no, Dancing Mad is one of those songs that, like, musicians who had never played Final Fantasy VI were told to listen to. And there is a lot of, like, reaction songs to it, like, or re reaction videos to it and everything. And once they get to, like, the final section of Dancing Mad, they're just like, holy shit. What's going on? And they just love it. Oh, this plays the whole thing. So what if I load my save file? What does that what does that do for me? Still loading. The loading. There we go. Just Celeste. Only Celeste. Nothing but Celeste. There's supposed to be like a single tree here. Like this right here. Uh, in the GBA version, I think this is the spot, is where there was supposed to be like a hidden dungeon. But the Pixel Remaster doesn't have it. It's either here or the next one over. That Pac Man freaking. It's an island with a single tree. But I don't think the Pixel Remaster has it. There was supposed to be a whole dungeon that you can only access after you've beaten Kefka. And this would have, like, Ultima Weapon and... Wait, what did I see there? Okay, no, it's just... It was just that playing tricks on me. What is here? Oh, Foggies. Whoops, I runic by accident. Oh man, I am kind of sad that I'm done with Final Fantasy VI. Like, I am kind of sad that it's over. Sid, you still here? You still okay? Yeah. Keeping him alive did me nothing. Alright, we take a nap. All right, what time are we at here? Four o'clock? Half of me wants to, uh, you know, jump on doing uh, Final Fantasy VII, like start it up. But at the same time, I'm just like, nah, maybe not. This is a good point to stop. And I could like start up Final Fantasy VII like tomorrow.
Yeah. Yeah, this, this solidifies... I know I'm quiet, but this solidifies my um, love for Final Fantasy VI. The fact that I'm just like, I don't want it to be over. I want to keep going. And I know I, I get sentimental like that when it comes to video games that I like. Earthbound, for instance. I always get uh, really sad when it's over. And I'm just like, oh man, I wish I could go continue playing Earthbound and keep going. But no, it's over. And like, yeah, I can always have a moment where I can just... Oh no, that's, that's fine. Video cannot be monetized. Yeah, whatever. Makes sense. I know. But no, I know, like, Final Fantasy VI, I have access to it, both in this Pixel Remaster and the original. So I can always play it again. But it's just sad that, that I'm finished. This song, this song here will always be my favorite overworld song. And it's, like, even though I'd say Dancing Mad is one of the best songs in the game, this one will always be my personal favorite. It really, it really shows that sense of adventure. Like, when I hear it, I'm just like, I want to go out there on an adventure. I want to gather my party and go on an adventure. All right, you know what? Just for a special treat for both me, um, I'm going to take a look at the Ninja RPG. Because apparently it's changed. I'm going to keep this music up. Because I enjoy it. And having Celeste look out in the sunset, it's a beautiful scene. So just give me one second as I... Uh... Okay, looks like the music's still going. Okay. So, let's go Kenoki. Let's see what I want here. There's no blonde. So let's just go brown hair for now. Brown hair, blue eyes, light skin color, soft features, glasses, long hair. I don't know if it's going to make me do a thing, so give me a second. I'm just going to close that off while I, uh, I don't know if it's going to make me do, like, a password or something. Um, I don't know what to name the character. Oh, it's a username, so maybe not character name, but...
Okay, cool. At least I know. So, Corman is not done. Apparently Michiko is already chosen, so that's out of the question. Yeah, I just go Levia. There's no blonde hair, no blonde hair option. Okay, you are a student. All right. Okay, I can bring this back up. You serious? Oh, they've got like an energy bar now. Before, I remember there being the health, the the chakra points, the stamina points, and yeah, that was always a thing. But now there's a fourth bar. Luckily, when you were at least you couldn't when you were when you first played. You can't get attacked when you're in a when you're a student. Start with uh, two hundred dollars, a hundred in the in your pocket, a hundred in the bank. Ooh, what is this? What? This shows like everyone that's here. That's cool. That is cool. I like that. That is really cool. I kind of like that. So where is... That's my main menu. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Head, chest, legs, feet, and then several items. Oh, each place has health now? Oh, that is cool. Come back after some jokes and I'm playing Ninja. Yes. I figured I'd do a little bit and see what it's like. See what they've added and see what they've changed. This I like. The fact that like each individual area has a... Uh, has a health bar system. So if an enemy attacks your village... That is cool. I wonder if they're going to implement, like, um, AI attacking your village. Because in the original, it was only other player ninjas that could attack your village. This may surprise you, but, like, even I like this game a lot, but it is heavily PvP. And usually I don't play PvP games, but it is heavily PvP. 
Yes, there was a lot of times when you could go against an AI, but no, 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 it's heavily. A lot of the good stuff is when you played with, like, other people and you fought against other people. The hospital, the item shop, the training grounds. I'm gonna go to the training grounds. You made a serious character now? <laughs> Okay, that must be like offensive, that's defensive, and this is like your yeah, strength, speed, intelligence, and willpower. And all the jutsu techniques. Da, 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 da. Sit and uh, voice check for a bit? Oh, hell yeah. Just give me a second while I... I'm changing the... Updating the title of my stream right now. Plus... I don't know if this is gonna if it's gonna be here. No, it's not. Oh. Ooh. Give me one second. Then I just drop everything. just gonna close Final Fantasy 6. As much as that was like music in the background. Uh, doesn't matter. One or the other. Hello. Hello. There we go. All right. I might try to just turn you down a bit. That way we're not. I don't think there's a way we could technically friend each other on this is the. There used to be, but I don't know if they, if it's still. I found you. Um, what? I think I can add you there. Uh, you are a level one student. You are from Kenoki, and you are currently awake. Yes, I know. So yeah, going to the home is like yeah, go to sleep and everything. You have gone to sleep. Oh, cool! Like little notification on the on the side. Uh, Federator is at ramen. No idea what that would be about. What the ramen? Oh, ramen! You get the extra HP. Yeah, that uh, that was that's gonna be your main um way of healing quickly. It's gonna be your main way of healing quickly. Yeah, because you heal over time, but and like I think for the first little bit you'll be fine. I wonder if there's still the regeneration rate. I think there is because the energy was re like recovering really quickly when I was training. Yeah. Because there used to be um, a stat called, like, regeneration rate, which would basically show how fast you would heal uh, over time. But I, I don't I don't think that's a thing anymore. It might be based around, like, 
willpower or something. Possibly. Oh, hold on a second. Ah, oh, never mind. My guy kind of looks bad. <laughs> wah, wah. There's uh, the point system reports, users. You can even create your own custom Nindo. Yep. That was a thing. That that has uh, been that has been a thing since day one. Like, what is your way of the okay. ninja? Wait, 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 wait! You can go to the hospital and get your own bloodline. Can you? At the hospital, yeah, it says bloodline. Check your genetics. The um, hospital skilled doctors and geneticists have use advanced technology to advance the DNA of each patient. They search for a specific genetic genetic mask to indicate the presence of a rare and powerful bloodline. Known only to a select few ninja clans. Some patients may experience side effects or complications as a result of their newfound powers. The hospital, therefore, um, offers removal of native bloodlines free of charge. So, in the old days, this was only available for those who were Genin rank and higher. I don't know if they changed it so that a, a student can have it now. Possibly. Because, like, if you oftentimes you could roll for a bloodline, and a lot of times you didn't get one. There's a lot of people who did not get one. They had to actually had to pay for money in order to get a bloodline, like pay real money in order to get it. So this was like, it was actually rare, and sometimes you get some sick jutsus out of it if you have a bloodline. Okay. I once, one character uh, that I had, had gotten, like, it was, like, these eyes that had, like, blue blades for pupils. Okay. It, it was, it was sick. <laughs> That's by Guy, by the way. I sent that to you on Discord. Hmm. Oh, there we go. This guy gives me an Ivan look from Bleach. <laughs> oh my goodness! If you go to travel, you can see how many people are actually. Yeah, the, that's a new feature. That that, that is that is a new feature. I've never actually that was not a thing in the past. I don't want to actually travel. Travel? Can I just move around? No. Okay. Boop boop. All right, then there's item shop, which you just buy stuff with, which looks to be only weapons at the moment. Okay, so okay. The, the surrounding area is... I kind of just want to see if I can roll for a bloodline right now. Let's see. So... Can I not get there? I just... Oh, wait, I can just... You can get a D rank bloodline for eight percent, C rank for four percent, B rank for two percent, A rank for one percent, or an S rank for zero point five percent. I wonder if you confirm wrong, you don't get one if you just have to pay for it then. Most likely, yeah. If you do not get one, you will not be able to roll again. Like you only get one chance. That's what happened in the past. But uh, it, it, if you can get it as a student, it is better to get it as a student because the jutsus you get from it, um, you can start leveling them up and getting them stronger. Oh, that's cool. You, when you're looking at the users, you can like go like online, which currently shows the last time that they logged in. And then you got the strongest, which then shows how much experience they have. And then you also have one, which is for staff. You need to talk to staff. Yeah. That's nice. And you can also look in their uh, like profiles yeah. and port the user. So how do you level up in this? Do you just keep training and eventually you level up? 
yes. Um, getting experience. You you get experience by training. You um, I don't think jutsus like training your jutsus give you experience points, but if you train like any of your offenses and defenses, you'll get experience. If you train your general stats, I think you also get experience. And of course, if you fight and win fights, you'll get experience. And then later on, sure. when when you rank up, you'll get access to missions, and missions will also give you experience. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll for a bloodline, see what I get. Nothing. Um... Fuck. So currently there's only the blue blade eyes and the blood enchanted eyes, but I didn't get anything. Uh... Oh, no, that's, that's the S rank, never mind. There's A rank. I currently only have full reputation. Oh, sweet. And the lowest one you can buy is a B rank. I can, you can, I can, like, choose. You could revert to a previous avatar if you don't like the current one. Apparently there's, like, a... Yeah, you create a new one to get the new thing out. Yeah. It gives me, like, two options, so... but I do like that one better. And I need... I'm guessing need... reputation points is only for... Like you can only buy, or can you unlock that over time? Um, back in the day, you could only buy them. Okay. So, um, it's hard to say right now, but back then you could only buy them. All right, time to see if I get lucky with the bloodlines. It seems the only thing you can do is get a B rank or higher, and it costs ten reputation to get one. Hey, I got a bloodline. <laughs> Nature's blessing. This is a lineage that imbues its bearer with a mastery over the power of the wind. Those born with this bloodline possess an innate connection to the elements, allowing them to control and manipulate the very air itself to enhance their abilities. Regen plus 20 for all villages. Effect 1. Absorb damage taken and convert to health, chakra, or stamina. Huh. Stats, highest, ninjutsu, genjutsu, taijutsu. Yeah, okay. So it's whatever stat is my oh. highest. I think this is like a a C rank bloodline, or I'm pretty sure. But I like I it. A, 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 so, I get um, no, it's a B rank. B rank, okay, yeah, yeah, I get yeah, because B rank's the lowest. Hmm. Okay, so absorb damage taken and convert it to health. Chakra or stamina. Okay, so that's kind of like just a simple support ability then. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, jutsus. Don't know any jutsus. I guess we better start training then. Yeah, we better. I'm kind of tempted to just go to Rio so I can steal money. A and S. <laughs> now, it's hard to say, but I know in the original, in order to rank up, you had to, like, take an exam. So... Like, you're at the academy student, um, you're a student, so, like, you had to take an exam to actually become a Genin, and yeah. back then, the exam required you to, like, have a certain skill in the clone technique and the replacement technique, but I don't know what it's going to be now. I don't see anywhere saying that it needs to, like, says it's going to be ranked up, unless it's, like, in the mission hall, but that's a work in progress. Yeah. But if I go training, I'm very tempted to just go Rio and just steal money. But apparently, it is only used on AI if you... Um, it will be deleted if you use it on a player. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Stat effect. You've got, like, absorb. You can change the jutsu for, like, absorb, heal. There's no heal. <laughs> no, no heals yet. Yeah, because in the in the original you could be uh, a medical ninja, and I'm assuming they kept that. Uh, so, well, is there any ceiling? No. How many stuns are there? There's one, two, three, four, five stuns. I'm kind of tempted to go Rock Lee, and just go nothing but Taijutsu. That is an option. 
Ooh, there's some right, nothing but strength, speed, and taijutsu, and also technically willpower. Yeah, there's there's summons. Yeah, you can summon a time bow. Uh, is there a rob for that? No, but there is rob. Uh, damage. It's Twenty seconds of fifty Rio. Ooh. Okay, so the Ombu is a work in progress. Yeah. Lions Hall, work in progress. Black Market, work in progress. Sucks that the what bank... It, sec it sucks that the bank is a work in progress because, like, currently the game has $100 in the bank, so we can't access that yet. Yeah. Harry, a skilled Shinobi can close the distance and counter the first tip for a decisive blow. It doesn't say whether it's kaijutsu or not. You think it would? That kind of sucks. Yeah, I am not um, see. I'm not seeing anything that's just like. Wait, I'm looking through here. Like I can see, you know, Iron Fist. It says taijutsu as stats. But then, like, okay, I can just go taijutsu. There we go. So taijutsu is chakra palm, swallows flight, searing might, Iron Fist, eclipse cyclone, and liver shot. Where are you seeing that again? I can't see. Oh, so if you go into just standard training, you go stat and then you just go taijutsu. Ah, uh, there it is. So they're all the specific taijutsu ones. So let's say you want to go genjutsu, it shows all your genjutsu ones that you can learn, or mm. ninjutsu ones you can learn. Uh, what if I go strength? Yeah, it sounds about right. All the Taijutsu ones are strengths. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Alright, so Chakra Palm. Well, I'm not going to use Chakra, so that's fine. Take a pill and engage in a series of complex attacking patterns. Oh, is something rather so... I don't think I would need strength at all. What is oh. this Beast Claw illusion? Okay. Weird that Beast Claw Illusions says it's a Genjutsu slash Taijutsu combo, but. Yeah, it's not Taijutsu though, it's mostly Genjutsu. Yeah. Uh, wait, if I go Genjutsu, no. Ninjutsu, no. Ah! Oh, Fireball Jutsu! <laughs> <laughs> I was very tempted to like go, you know what, I'm gonna make like um buff gay or something in this, but Holy shit, it's an AoE circle. <laughs> it's an AoE spell. Nice. Um speed? That's willpower? No, Is that a ninjutsu? Willpower. Yeah, it's a ninjutsu. No intelligence. No strength. Wow, Robbie doesn't um yeah, Robin doesn't have any special stats whatsoever. <laughs> oh, probably because it's like a spe You would think speed would have something to do with it. Yeah, it just says stats highest. Hmm. Okay. So whatever stat is the highest it uses. Yeah. Generally speaking, you just want to choose what kind of ninja you want to be. If you want to, like, again, if you want to be a ninjutsu, genjutsu, taijutsu weapon user. Cool. My plan was to just have fun with this and roleplay as a drunk, like, drunken fist user, so I use, like, Taijutsu and, like, steal money to get more grog. Hmm. But I don't think that's gonna work too well, honestly. <laughs> well, you won't be able to... Well, you might be able to steal money from users. That was a thing in the past. You could steal money from users if they were awake. Uh, it's not anymore because it says that stealing only works on AI now. If you use it on a player, it like it deletes itself. That's the jutsu itself. Actually, stealing might might still be a thing. It, it depends if that's like yeah, an option that you can use. Yeah, because that was not that was not accessible until you became like uh, I think a chunin. I'm gonna just start training in Tai Jutsu offense while I look through the stuff. Mm. Iron Fist. Channel chakra. Okay, stop telling me to channel my chakra. 
An intimidating technique reliant on fire. Elements fire, general strength and speed. Deals damage to target. Okay, what about liver shot? Right. You strike the target's vulnerable liver, a precise blow, inducing searing pain and incapacitating agony. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, deals damage to target. Strength and speed. And then the second effect is a just cost of taking actions. Ooh. Okay, I wouldn't mind getting that. But how do you have so much energy? I don't know. For, it must be a glitch, because I went for Genjutsu offense, and then it just skyrocketed from 112 to 100. What? Were you training anything? I'm training or Genjutsu. I'm training Genjutsu, I think, right now. Because it's slowly going down. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that on there. I'm just surprised that you just went over 100. Yeah. It's weird. You know, alpha version. True. True. You're just so powerful that the game's giving you the handicap. Hey, look, look. I once found a glitch in this game, and it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um. Apparently, back they fixed it, because I had to have a way of stopping that now but back in the day if you loaded like you created two tabs of the game oh yeah and then you typed in like your username and your password while logging in and then on the second tab you typed in an actual user's like username it would log you into their account oh yeah and then if you, like, did it for someone who was, like, a high level, the game would, like, sort of glitch and make it seem like your stats were trying to match up. So when you went back to your character, you would have, like, millions and millions of chakra and stamina over your maximum. Yeah. And then you'd be able... People abusing that. Yeah, you'd be able to Not use it. You, you'd, you'd be able to use it to, like, level up real quickly. Yeah, I could see people abusing that in a way to, like, not just get like stats and everything, but go into a PvP fight and purposely make the other person lose. Mm. <sighs> Luckily, of course, uh... um, when I when I told them when I found the glitch, I went and told them, "Oh yeah, this is a glitch," and they eventually fixed it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how this works. Like, do I just let it go and then however long I let it go, it will finally be like, hey, you're done. Here's how much you train. Yeah, that, that's how I was doing it before. Like, it, it seems to be um, the first energy you spend doesn't count, but any every energy after that counts as one point to the level. That's how at least how I found it when I was testing it out. Huh. So I've been, I've used a total of 22 energy. That means I'll get 21 levels in Taijutsu offense. I think I like that more, because in, before, the way it worked is you said, hey, I want to train, and then uh, there would be another drop bar that'd be like, this many times. And the drop bar would only go as far as how many times you could actually do it. So you'd be able to use, like, all your chakra and stamina. Yeah. And then just boop, boop, done. Um, and then you'd have to wait till your chakra and stamina got up, and then... Oh, uh, yeah, we don't want that one. Just so you can also see my side. I'm thinking honestly, liver shot would be pretty good. What does Quick Cyclone do? 
decorate upgrade host parties Ooh, they're gonna be able to allow you to bring people to your home nice uh, item storage too which is good family simulator let's go yeah no you were allowed um you were able to have your own family so to speak you could marry in the game yeah i'm not surprised I don't think they um, I don't think they allowed it to like that you can technically have kids, but a lot of people role played that anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, the general consensus naturally was uh students were kids, Gennons were still considered kids, but they were slightly older. And then once you finally hit Chunin was when you were like, Yeah, you're an adult now. Yeah. I'm honestly thinking I train Liver Shot. And that Rio, please. And then I just go train off AIs for a little bit if I need to. Oh, look at these weapons. There's a bow? What? I had a quick look at the weapons, but I didn't actually look at anything. This redwood and, and steel bow is a powerful weapon when used by ninjutsu, capable of amplifying the chakra fed into it. Its bolts are stronger and faster than most conventional bows. Apparently, it's an epic bow. It's a solo bow. It was created on the 6th of the 19th, and it's been updated on the 6th of the 19th. Okay, so they brought this They brought this game back at least, like, months ago, and I wasn't aware. Oh, well, how much it cost, though? <sighs> I didn't see that much. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. How many do I want to buy? Um, I want ten. <laughs> uh, okay. Need a ramen shop. Just I need, need fourteen thousand real, even though that's a good. I think all the weapons have cost that much. No, there are some that are different. Okay. Oh, there we go. You can get Sword of Shadows for one Rio. and somehow it's a legendary weapon. Huh. I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> Effect <laughs> power 5, general Good. strength and speed. Uses your highest stat. It's safe as a short knife, but it has this effect power of 5. It would be good for you, because you're okay. planning on increasing your strength. But... I'll be right back. Traveling does anything. Okay, now this is as big as the sector gets. So silence is all the way over there. Whoa. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, I was gonna hey. try. I was gonna try to travel, but I feel like it won't let me travel if I'm training. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah. So if I go sort of shadow strength and speed, yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. Legends say that this sword 
is a conduit for the power of shadows and darkness. It's real against the ability to meld in with shadows, becoming virtually invisible to the naked eye. This katana can also harness the shadows to create devastating high-speed strikes, making it a formidable weapon in combat. I kind of want to do that now. Oh, how's my training going? Yeah, it's getting there. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to test something. Uh, and I won't be able to buy the other two things. Oh, your energy's not going up, weirdly. Apparently, you can train while you're asleep. <laughs> okay. I, cool. tra I train in my sleep. All right. <laughs> Again, uh, they might have changed this, but... Sleeping is going to be your best friend because it not only heals you, but it also keeps you safe. Okay. Because, uh, oh. like in the other, in the older version, if you if there was an enemy ninja in the village, they could attack you if you weren't asleep. So uh... being asleep is your best friend. I think I'm going to wait a second once this is done, because that will give me like 70 levels and tile to offense if I did this correctly. All right, finish. Yep, I've got 70 Taijutsu offense. So I now have 80 Taijutsu offense. Oh, nice. If I then go training. If I go tight, if I go with that weapon there, that means I have to go back to Jutsu as well. Though. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, does it say what our max level can be? Um, also, I did get some level um, ex experience off of training that I got 70 experience per level, or one experience per level, sorry. Nice. So you just need to put about 500 levels in your offense and you'll level up. <laughs> Oh, cool. Um, Apparently, you could swap your current bloodline for another th of similar rank for zero reputation points. Nice. You want to change it, though? I don't know. I have to look at what these other ones are. <laughs> I mean, Ancient Tail Demon. Uh, hold on one second. So, oh, uh, your B rank. Oh, I guess we'll read them anyway, yeah. A rare and enigmatic lineage known for its exceptional uh, regenerative abilities. Members of this bloodline have inherited a gift, unparalleled innate healing, making them nearly impervious to the ravages of time and injury. Regan plus 30. Effect 1, adjust okay. damage given by target. Um, I bought the ultimate uh, Utsu technique. Oh, clone technique? No. I bought Ryu, please. Ah, yes. What's this one? The Bloodline is a rare and feared lineage that grants its wielder an unparalleled mastery um, over the power of wind. Twisted and corrupted by darkness, those born with this Bloodline possess an innate connection to the elements, allowing them to control and manipulate the very air itself. Oh, you'd be an airbender. Reflect damage taken. Uh, you should um read what's called uh, Eclipse Cyclone. It's a Taijutsu. Oh, that's that's in the bloodlines, yeah. But um, if you go to the training, yeah. Um, and then go down. It's like down the bottom. It's equipped cyclone. Kinetic manipulation deals damage to target. Strength and speed uses taijutsu. Oh, stuns the target. A remarkable jutsu that amalgamates the user's mastery over both celestial energy and kinetic manipulation. And somehow that's taijutsu. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds more like genjutsu. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Well, then again, kinetic manipulation. So if you if you punch hard enough, you do like you do create yeah. a kinetic but celestial energy? Uh I think I'm gonna learn. Live a shot. That's all my money on. Off in the one the stuff in the bank. Until we get that. And I, I right now I don't see a way of getting more money because unless the mission hall does it, but there was there used to be an option oh. 
where you be in the battle arena. Oh, maybe yes, the battle arena could do it. Because there used to be an option to run errands, so you'd basically just run around and do odd jobs for people. It did it automatically, but you would go and do that, and that would get you money. The more. So I just want to say, you've been using less energy because you're also asleep. So I'm not sure if that's going to mess up with your um training or not. Mm. Good to know. Good to know. Relearning. That might be helping out with your training and you're getting more levels than you're actually spending. Maybe. We'll see. But then it also might mean it's slowing down your training at the same time because it is based off of how much energy you're using. Yeah. So that might be like being asleep might be the safe way to train. But yeah. being awake will have it do it faster so that you can... So what's that? I guess the shield gun on the bottom is like a safety time, so after 24 hours we can technically be attacked. No, I think that's a, a logout timer. Okay. This game always had that, where like after a certain period of time it would automatically log you out. I guess that kind of makes sense. Um... But that is way longer than it has ever been because I think I remember it being like a couple hours the, the for the first time. Oh no, it might have even been a half hour. So a full day and then it finally logs you out. That's good. Yeah. Because the last thing you need is the main problem with it was you would be in the middle of something like a mission or a battle and then you get logged out. And battles are timed, so if you're not doing your action and you don't get back there in time, you will miss a turn. Yep. And back in the day, when the internet sucked, that was a pain, because internet was slow. I know that all too well. <laughs> um... Again, I, the first time I played this was back in high school. When I was younger, like, I think end of primary school, getting into, like, start of high school, I was absolutely obsessed with Adventure Quest and NetQuest. And I had the exact same problems with shitty internet. Hmm. Which I should probably do that at some point, just, like, stream, like, NetQuest or something, because I remember that was a lot of fun. Cool. Reptilian doesn't have a description yet. Regen plus 40? That's higher regen than yours. Mine is... Mine's, like mine's, gonna, yeah, mine plus 20. Like plus 20. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have... No, this is the lowest regen. Oh, regen. Okay, I thought it was regen. Uh, it could be either. Actually, it might be, it might be regen. Because, like, regen it's supposed to be regeneration. Yeah. So what happens if you run out of energy? Do you just, like, stop training? I think so. That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right now. One of the most modern bloodlines to have formed. The origins of this are well documented. It was stated that a father of a beast style signed a contract with the beast kingdom. Thus, contract in... Tail, the blood fusion that allows the members of this bloodline to channel the primer energies into devastating taijutsu. Sounds like something I want. <laughs> there's, there's your like Rock Lee stuff right there. Open yep. your, open your inner gates. Right. So then there's the ancient tail demon. So that's like one tail, two tail stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And finish training. I now have a hundred Taijutsu offense. I have no idea what the max is, but... I'm just wondering uh, if it will, like, stop it itself, or I have to... Imagine you start hurting yourself now. If I could do more training, then I'll, I'll gladly do that. <laughs> um, training... Uh, let's defend against Genjutsu, because I know that's always the most dangerous. <laughs> 
it's what I'm it's what I'm going for. I'm going Genjutsu. Okay, finish training. I mean, if I was taking this seriously and wanted to be like the ultimate um, trainer sort of thing, Oof. oh my goodness, look at your... Oof. I see that. What the hell? I think it's because you bucked it out. I must have. Well, I ain't getting energy back for a while. <laughs> well, it's going down a lot faster. Well, it's going up a lot faster than it was before. Yeah. Like for me, um, it was going up like one, like one energy per second. So. Okay, I gained a hundred experience points, so I need four hundred more. So I need to do that four more times. Well, I'm turning defense, seeing if that gets me XP too. Oh yeah, it should. So you're saying that we need to get to, like, level 10 in order to rank up? Yes, that at least that's what it was before. You would get to level... You would become a level 10... Excuse me. Um, oh. You would need to be a level 10 student, and then I think you would still need to, like, get the experience technically to get to level 11. But before you leveled up to level 11, they would be like, okay, do a test, and that would rank you up. So basically, level 11 gets you the next rank. Okay. Um, and then from 11 to uh, 21, or 11 to 20 would be Genin. Yep. Uh, also, if you want to, you can just train a standard Jutsu as well, because that doesn't actually take any energy. Ooh. That is oh, true. You don't have to go to that thing, Training yeah. ground, yeah. Where's my good old Genjutsu? What Genjutsu do I want? I mean, honestly, Soul Shackles is really good. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Before I do any of that, I need to see if I want these bloodlines. Because what Jutsu I choose will determine my blood... Like, will determine, like... Or what bloodline I have will determine what Jutsus I go through. Yeah. Members of this bloodline are descendants of a lightning deity... Thought by some as a sacred Raijin himself. According to the more obscure rumors, a god with a voice that roared like thunder once descended from the heavens and proclaimed that he would no longer wish to walk among his kin, choosing the human world as his new abode. The deity is said to have wed a human and sired a child who inherited their father's fearsome power to bend lightning to their will. Gotcha. <laughs> Elements lightning, no generals, no stats. Second one is element wind. Well, I guess the reptilian one gets me more, like, regen. Yeah. Because right now I've got plus 20 regen. Well, it depends on what the regen actually does. Like, is it actually just HP regen? It's HP, chakra, stamina, and I'm guessing uh, energy. Hey, my energy's full. <laughs> nice, you can go training again. Yeah. And watch your bug out again. Oh, probably. No, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Yep. I'm just going to keep going with my uh, Genjutsu strength. You're just going to get nothing but Genjutsu. Let's go. <laughs> well, I need to choose another one. Because, like, if I face off against someone who has, like, a high Genjutsu defense. Yeah. Or an enemy that has a high Genjutsu de defense, I'll want to uh, swap to something else. It's recommended yeah. to have two offenses. I'm totally not training Genjutsu just to counter you. Totally not. Totally. But I'm also thinking that if we can travel it around, there might be random encounters that we get into that also could be experience that we could get. Yes, that is pos that, that was a possibility before. I'm not kind of tempted just to open up another tab and start doing my mech quest on the side. Did you ever play those games? 
Which ones? Uh, like Mech Quest and Adventure Quest. I think I played Adventure Quest. I would be surprised. That's like the main um thing. Like it's adventure stuff. So I have to check that. Heroes. Um. Uh, coat of Diamonds. Or simple armor. Oh, we could have bought simple armor immediately. Damn it. Accessories, none. Materials, none. Event, none. Other, none. Oh, yeah. What do oh, these yeah. do? Yeah, I definitely played Adventure Quest. Definitely. A refreshing water pie to satisfy your appetite and restore your health. That makes no sense. Who would eat a water pie? Hmm. That does not sound good whatsoever. Heals the target, so. Chakra water, restore your energy. Armor. A uh, coat of diamonds. <laughs> yep. You need 900 more Rio, so it costs a thousand to get that, but you can buy the arm armor if you want, but that means you won't get a jutsu. That's true. But you also don't want to die. That's why I'm looking at things. I think it's available. Because you seemingly, he just doesn't get hit. Event, other. Oh, there's no, like, items. Like, item items. I think that's meant to be consumables, but they don't have too many yet. Yeah. That's what I got. Wait, why is this shuriken so expensive? I don't know. Stackable of 10. That's probably why, because there's 10 of them. Yeah, but then, like, I think they messed up one of the items because that Shadow Katana is only one Ryu. Makes no sense. Hmm. There might be other things that are also bugged out like that, too. Who knows? Who knows? Holy shit! Meteor Hammer! That's going to be my weapon eventually. <laughs> oh, Masamune! Oh! I think that's your sword. A sword that consumes the blood of enemies. Interesting. A short knife, you know. A small, sharp knife. It's not very useful for anything other than stabbing people! Imagine that. It's also stackable. Soul Harvester? Oh, Bloodstained Blade. It's called the Soul Harvester. That's a common? It is a common. Oh, I think it's because it's called that just because of its pitch black tinge. It sucks the life out of any living thing it comes in contact with. Oh. No, that's common. You just find that in any old shop. Alright. I guess everyone's dying. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet breaker. Short knife. Yeah, I'm very scared to, like, actually buy something until I can figure out, like, how to get more money. I spent all my money, so I don't care. I gotta go I learn. I still have 100 in the bank for when that eventually gets, like, worked on. Yeah, I gotta go learn a jutsu. There's nothing you can change with the bloodline. Or there's no jutsus you can learn with the bloodline. No. My bloodline don't give me no jutsu. I use bloodline no jutsu. Now, Veil of Shadows, I think, is a stat boost. Upon their opponent. Ooh. It just stats uh, every... a target, yeah. yeah. Effects power minus 15. 
it, 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 intelligence it, broke out in you. It does hurt them, but it also lowers their stats. Yeah. All right, I gained sixty-one Genju defense, but Soul and that does give me experience. Soul Shackle is definitely probably the better way to go because it. I like the pictures on these though. Slide your enemy's sense of hearing and lure them to their death. It just deals tar deals damage to the target. What? Excuse me. It's called a lullaby. Shouldn't it put them to sleep too? Yeah. Desert illusions. It kind of reminds, it kind of reminds me of the um thing they used in one of the, like fairy tale enemies. They um had like a demonic flute that would um send people to sleep like like into an eternal sleep. But then it would also hurt them at the same time because it would drain all their life force into yeah. the food itself, which now, turned out to be like some demon. I kind of know what this is based off of because in Naruto there was an enemy early in the series that had a flute that she used to. Yeah. She used it to control like golems, though, I think. I can't remember that far. I can't even remember who fought against her. I'm pretty sure she was a sound ninja. So it would have been like um, people from like the Leaf Village mostly. I thought it was like part of the group that like when Sasuke decided to go off with Orochimaru, they came and picked him up, and she was part of that group. Yeah. Yeah. So like, Neji fought the spider dude. Do you? Oh no, I don't think it was Choji that fought her. No, I think it was um guy who uses the shadow thing that fought her. Shikamaru? Yeah. Uh, I no, must. I he was having a he was having a major pain because he was using all the dolls and everything called golems to keep like him away from her and like so he ended up using his shadow thing on the golem shadows, which then eventually connected to her. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he like process of elimination. It had to have been him that defeated her, defeated her. Yeah, because I remember Soji fought the big muscly dude. Yeah, and it was um, it was it was uh like hinted at that he was to die in that one, but then he came back. Yeah. I mean, I'm rewatching the series, so I'll eventually get up to that point. <laughs> All right, it's time to get some souls. It's time to get some soul jackals. Um, one of the cool things about um, why is it take so long for the training? Training to me only took like twenty seconds, not like three minutes. Is it possible because I'm in the middle of training? Genju to offense as well. Probably. Hey, I like to multitask. God damn it, if I have to be the Hermione Granger of the Naruto world, I will. Uh, I need 10 more Genjutsu defense. So that would be 46 energy left. Cool. Okay, that hasn't changed at all. Oh, there's like a global, a global chat and a Kanoki Tavern chat. I like it. Before there was just the tavern. Like you, if you wanted to, um, I'm pretty sure this is still the same. Like if you wanted to go talk in the in the tavern of another town, you actually had to travel to that town. Yeah. All right. 
I am not broke yet. I still have money. I don't. I'm broke. <laughs> and I'm hoping they release at some point that we could team up eventually. Because that's going to make life so much easier. That would be the um, most likely like the Ombu. I don't think so. Form squads with fellow villagers. That's what it was before. Yeah, maybe. Because there's also the clan hall, which is joining clan and fight together. Oh yeah, that's a thing too. The clan was... The whole clan idea was a slightly more newer idea. Like, I started, like, losing interest in the game and going off to, you know, other games when yep. the clan came in. Yeah, okay. So I, I know of the whole feature, but I don't, like, I don't think I ever joined a clan. Yeah. Because initially the Ombu was the, like, the guild, if you will. Yep. Well, I just trained Genjutsu to level 100. Well, Genjutsu defense. Eh, so you're matching my Genju offense. Well, that's going to be one of my main problems anyway. If I'm fighting someone, it's going to be Genjutsu. Because mm. I'm going to be all close range combat. Oh, sweet. You can uh... forget it. Yay. I'll run away. Oh, you can off. only equip like five jutsus at a time. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. Jutsu management equip one out of five. Oh, I got Rio equip. And why does it cost Rio to begin? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Wow, you really have to force yourself to uh, forget that spell, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I got my Jutsu equipped now. And now I'm turning my speed. I put the weights on my ankles and everything. Gotta go fast! See, I have to focus on, like, intelligence and willpower. Yeah. Um, speed would also be important. Like, ge the generals, like, everyone from old guides that I read... Um, everyone agrees that, like, just powering up every one of your generals is important. The speed would be, like, how fast you move in combat. And then willpower not only helps deal with your genjutsu spells, but how much genjutsu you can take. Sorry about that. Uh, as far as I can tell, for the most part, willpower seems to be, like, willpower and speed are, like, the best defensive stuff. I think speed is only going to be, uh... I think it's only going to be... Um, oh, Jesus, the damage calculator. Oh. Wait, what? I'm sorry, they have an actual damage calculator. How did you find the damage calculator? It's in the game. If you click the game info at the top, right next to news. Oh. And then, yeah, damage calculator. Level. Uh, to navigate, there are two levels of travel in this game. Global travel and sacred travel. Global travel... Shows you the entire planet segregated into circle sectors. When viewing one of these sectors, you'll see 15 to 20 times the diagonal grid. Yep, okay, what about combat? Oh, the blue blade eyes are still in the game. Look at that. S rank. Yeah, it's an S rank, yeah. Those are cool. Um. Okay, initiative is calculated by rolling a number between 1 and 20 for each user. Several modifiers are added to this number. For each level above Defender, bonus of 3% is added. If owned, Territory bonus of 10% is added. 
taken outside own territory, initiative is reduced by 10%, and for consecutive PvP kills, stacking bonus of 5 to 0.25% um, are added. So I guess the more that kills you get in PvP, the more of a bonus you get. Okay. Ah, oh, blue blade eyes gives you Arctic Frost. I just searched up AIs, and the first thing I see is old lady, old lady, old man, old lady, old man. Yeah. And then there's angry cat. Yar. Beware the angry cat. Alright, there's a damage calc. Yep. Logs. Update angry cat. Blood heal. Oh, can... Their eyes glow a crimson red. The next thing their enemies know is a pool of blood beneath their feet. Oh, lovely beverage. Mmm. Westfield might seem like something I might want to get to. You need the bloodline, the temp temporal monarch, though. That's fine. What is temporal monarch actually? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bloodlines B. It might be. A, it might be a S. It's an nope, a it's an A rank. Temporal monarch. Uh, an archive of Seiji speaks of a clan who possessed the power of creation, the created objects, and speak life into those objects. Those who wield this power are considered the gods of creation. They see the world as their playground, but okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, awesome. Best bloodline ever. Testing dummy 2.0. Dummies to <laughs> test. Re regen plus 100. Absorb damage taken and convert to health chakra or stamina. Uh, reflect damage taken, adjust damage given by target. Basically, oh. you're, you're just, nope. I'm pretty sure that's on eight developers, though. Yeah. They put that in there just for them. Rare. Epic. Legendary! How is the Brass Knuckles legendary? No, I don't. I guess, well, it says deals damage to target and then heals the target. Wait, what? No idea. That's what it says. Yeah, that's, that is what it says, but I'm confused about that one. Uh, Master Money says the same thing. I guess, like, it damages them and then heals you. Oh, God, or touch... damages them and then, yeah. Touch of death! Legendary! Instantly kills the target! <laughs> I'll get you attacked me, okay. <laughs> Where do I buy it? <laughs> it's a sword, apparently. Uh... It's power 100. Oh, jeez. So you have chosen death. Because I've always been reading as when it says effect one and effect two, that it's like, oh, like you attack with the brass knuckle, that like one of the things it will do is damage the target, but the other thing it will do is heal the target. But I'm beginning Maybe, to, but then, yeah, I'm it beginning also to depends on all things. So yeah, I'm beginning to wonder if it's like different abilities you can use with those weapons. Because if you look at Jutsus, there's one of them which not only, like one of the Tai Jutsus, I think it's a Cyclone, it not only damages the target, it also stuns them. And it says effect one, damage, effect two, stun. Mm. Unless the Brass Knuckle and Masamane 
uh, troll weapons where you hit the person and then you heal them after you hit them, so you can just keep punching them. Oh, yeah. That must be how it works. Which, to be fair, if I ever made an anime, I'd make that one of the characters where a person who loves to fight so much that they heal their opponents so they can keep fighting. Oh shit, my training finished. 100 more points of Genjutsu! And more Genjutsu. Alright, I'm going for it. Battle Arena, baby! Oh, good luck. Our Darina's full of... Uh, oh god, it's an angry cat! <laughs> good luck. Flee, it's a picture of a chicken! Oh, well. Yeah, not in range, rip. Yeah. Uh, what I would do is I would move back one and then end turn. Well, I think it's over. Like, how do I... Click on Soul Tackle again. You might want to move back. Otherwise, he'll start attacking you again. That's what I'm trying to do, but it's not, like, letting me move. Yeah, click on the move. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the short, like, shortcut keys don't work, because there's W. Oh, okay, I see what it is move. now, yeah. I guess it's not going to do that. All right, I guess you just need to move in. Whoop. Soul Shackle. Oh my goodness, that damage. Hell yeah. You can also see at the top how much movement and whatnot you have. And also how much time you have for that round. Yeah. So you could basically do as many things as you want, just as long as you're within that. You won! Okay, yeah, got money. Cool. Oh, nice. I get experience points, defensive ninjutsu, taijutsu, genjutsu. It gives small amounts, but it does give me... Yeah, I think it depends on what you use the most. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, God, what happened to my stats? <laughs> yeah, I got a little wonky. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have negative 2,088 health. Oh, lovely. You somehow messed this up without even trying. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with no problems. I have a feeling it's because you chose to be a Konoichi instead of a ninja. <laughs> it might be something that's challenging with being a female instead of a male. Is game being sexist? Is that what you're? Is that what you're saying? Probably, yeah. SP usage ten percent. CP uses ten percent. All right. Am I able to? I just got. Like seventy one bonus speed, let's go. I just boop. Uh so I need how much more? Eighty one speed, so I need nineteen more. Cool. Maybe each different spell Well maybe not. I was gonna say maybe like each different like jutsu has like a different time frame, because this is like three minutes. I don't think so, because it's only ever taken me twenty seconds. I think it's because you're technically exhausted. Yeah. On top of that, I am leveling up Soul Shackle to, like, level two. Yeah, that might be why, too. Because both of my Jutsus, when I learned them, were only 20 seconds, and when I were testing out things in the other one, the Genjutsu and the Ninjutsu that I had ended up... Um, work like ended up only being like 20 seconds as well hmm. <laughs> oh 
I love that. You just triggered a mouse gesture. Would you like to learn more about mouse gestures? <laughs> no thanks. Oh dear God! Oh, there goes. Yep, all my stats are right there. Oh, that must be like the timer or something. Maybe that's like what it's messed up with the timer or something because it's like. As soon as that thousand hits zero, my health and stamina just regen immediately. Yeah, so it's still technically calculating as if you had a hundred. Yeah. I need nine more speed. Fuck. I'm sorry, but does the picture for the weapon user offense have like a bunch of guns and cannons? Yep. <laughs> yep. There's tanks, there's guns, there's planes by the look of it too. I like the speed one though. That looks kind of dope. Like, even though it has nothing to do with speed, it looks dope. I mean, you'd run really fast if you were on fire. Sure. Basic seconds. I listen to some music. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Four seconds. Done. Level two. Tell me if you can hear my music when it starts playing. Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, I might pause it then so you don't hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, I, just, I could just stop streaming. I suppose that's fine. That works too. Uh, finish training. Six speed. Yay! I now have a hundred speed. Yay! My my soul jackals is at level two. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm going wandering around. Excuse me, can you please... Fuck you, bitches! Uh, okay. Oh, cool, we can walk on water. Nice. Is there anything out here? I don't think there is. I'm just trying to get, like, a hundred instants that I want. And yes, doing general stats too does end up working. So I did 90 in speed and I still got experience for it. Um, you know what, fuck it. Battle Arena, let's go. I am versing Angry Cat. Hey, that didn't... I guess traveling also takes time. Yeah. It told me it would take two seconds, not two minutes. I just stole money from the cat. Ha ha. Meow. And now I'll heal myself. Good Shrek, mate. How much money did you take from him? Um. Oh, I can't take money from him, never mind. Ah. Uh. I lost somehow. Oh. Good to know. The cat beat you. Yeah, because I tried punching him, but it didn't work, so I should have just used the gut punch thing. Uh, 
Oh, so I reckon someone's just gonna come and say this is an um. Oh, you changed that in mind. <laughs> so this is an um Final Fantasy six. Yeah, I changed it. Yeah. I ch I even changed the category to just chatting because there's no. This isn't like an official game that has its own category. Yeah. Um, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, so I figured out if you um end up dying right now, it's like a three minute wait. It's not too bad. Yeah, no that that's that's been the way it was. I think if you had enough money, you'd be able to pay a nurse to be like, "Hey, heal me now." Oh yeah, it says pay ten Rio. It's just leave now. Yeah. I'm reading the rules. Who needs rules? Well, apparently they even have specific rules for Kage holding. Kage? What? Yep. As a general rule, moderators would not intervene in Kage matters as long as the Kage reasonably active, fulfilling appropriate Kage functions in a timely manner and engaging in ordinary gaming slash training such, as, such that normal challenges from users are in general are possible. No Kage is obligated under the rules to be popular or likable, act in their village's best interests as villagers see it, or accept specific challenges from individual players. If a Kage must be removed for appropriate reasons, but is not in violation of any other rules, ex example trolling, a prefunctionary ban may be issued to remove the player from the position, but no other penalties will be imposed. Alright. Like, you are able to become the Kage of the village. Yeah. You know, but, I'm going to stop training. But that's basically, you know, you are the, the strongest. I'm sorry, what? I think I found a glitch. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I found a huge glitch. There we go. Yay, I'm away from the village. Suck it, bitches. Rogue Ninja. Rogue Ninja. There's nothing right, out uh, here. Move. 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 Liver shot. And we can't steal money. I'm going to use a basic heal. Maybe you oh, can't. Like maybe that. you can't steal money from like you know animals. Maybe you'll be able to steal money from like humanoid opponents. Maybe. I won. I gained thirty nine money. Um. Cool. In that case, I'm going to go train strength because that's the only way you can increase damage. Apparently. Apparently, increasing Taijutsu doesn't increase your standard hand to hand. That would be like your Taijutsu skills would be what would raise up. Yeah, but that still doesn't make any sense because Taijutsu is still just technically hand to hand combat. <laughs> yeah. Having fun there? Oh, yeah. 
There's nothing over here, and I'm by myself. Actually, hold on, AI. So, uh, guess what? What? Mad Cow still in this. <laughs> they have the Angry Cat, Sad Puppy, Snake, Mad Cow, Ninja Cat, Ninja Crab, Spider, Ninja Fox, Mutated Spider, Spirit Yeti, Wild Boar, Icebox, Hungry Ghost, Fox Scout, Inning Dropout, Summoning Komodo Dragon, Shaman, Spirit, Second Rate Ninja, Dark Cat. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Yeah, I'm just scrolling down. There's so many far out. It's so much that I scroll down far enough that I had to refresh, and there's more. <laughs> of course, because there there would need to be like, um, no oh fuck, it keeps like resetting up at the top for me. Yeah, because you, it, as you scroll down, you like find more, which means you need to refresh in order to load them up for you. Then you can keep scrolling. Yeah. And then load more, load more. Oh, you could fight like a regular Genin. And a drunk yeah. chatter. <gasps> Ninja Dode. Ninja Dode. Engineered assassin. You know what they're missing in this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, it's a big old buff turtle. Psychopath the Ninja. <laughs> Oh, you know, Lesser Demon, NBD. Level 41. Yeah. Reanimated Chunin, Ethereal Spirit, Rift Beast. First Green Demon. Ooh. Naruto's dad. Oh, is it Jonin? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's actually just Naruto. Could be. Yeah, that's Naruto, because that's definitely his pose. That is yeah, his that pose. Is that is Naruto. That's, that's Naruto and Bruto. That is straight up Naruto. He's level 48, bro. He's a level 46 student. Oh, so those are level 48. So he's still, he's still, it, this is definitely Naruto, because he's still a student. Because Naruto's still a yep. Genin. Yep. Well, Nar depends on how far you go. Because he's technically the Hokage when it gets to Boruto. Yeah, but he's still technically a Genin. He is. Yep. He does not rank Boruto, up. He's a Genin. Yep. He does not rank up. Wow. All right. I remember seeing. A, I, I remember uh, seeing a clip of something where, like, you know, someone asked him. It's just like, are you seriously still a Genin? <laughs> like, even though he is the strongest uh, ninja in in the Leaf Village, he does not pass the tuning exam. Yeah, come on, finish loading. Thank you. Guess what I now have? Yeah, I'm back in the village. You'll never guess what I have. Um, more strength? Nope. Well, I mean, yes, but no. I now have the Sword of Shadows. Oh, cool. So, um... I'm gonna go with Bucket, um, Buki, Buki Jutsu. There we go. I don't know why I'm struggling to say that. Everything else I'm fine with is just that one word. Buki, Buki, Buki. Back in the day, it wasn't even known as Buki Jutsu. It was just, you know, weapon tech techniques. My uh, Steam friend, Depressed Cat, is now playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Huh. How much does this cost? I need 22 more Rio. You got it! My friends think of the most weirdest names. There's one dude who named himself Mermaid, but has his profile pick as Trump. 
Um, there's a guy who's named Depressed Cat who has um, one of the characters from Destiny. And then my other friend is an anime cat girl, and his name is I Can Spell. Except spell is spelled wrong. Ah. And then I have this really weird guy called Corman who's playing Scream Avatars. Oh man, what a loser. Yeah. I won! Seven experience points. 37 money. Nice. Yeah. What happens if I go again? Am I considered dead? Oh, cool. What? I could just stand there and literally... Yeah. I just find it strange how the cat doesn't have to walk up to you in order to fight. Anchor Cat creates a four-headed dragons that eat that e then each fires eat an what? elemental roar at Levia. It is now Levia's turn. Levia takes fifteen point forty three damage. Levia absorbs one damage and converts it to health. Levia absorbs one damage and converts it to stamina, and Levia absorbs one damage and converts it to chakra. Angry Cat takes twenty six point nine eight damage. All right then. Apparently, he can create four headed dragons. No wonder why I lost. <laughs> Round so uh, okay, let's go. Let's uh, love number one. Levia moves on the battlefield. Round one. Levia stares at Angry Cat without warning. Without a warning, Angry Cat's arms and legs are shackled in steel bindings. The shackles drag Angry Cat down into the ground with insane power. It is now Angry Cat's turn. The Angry Cat will take damage for the next one round. Angry Cat manages not to get stunned. Then he creates his four-headed dragons, and I heal, like, one point from each of that because of my bloodline. Okay, so apparently, according to the cat, I'm just staring at him, and he's dying. <laughs> All right. Because that's how oh, I goodness. that's how I roll. How much money do I, I think got? You'll enjoy this. One hundred four. Enjoy that. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could show you another one. With I'm pretty with sure Mickey you can make um... this. I'm pretty sure you can make the same joke with the eye doctor. Oh, yeah, probably. But I also found this one, too, so. Wow. <laughs> um, found one that you can tell next time you go to work. Yes, I'm, I definitely have to use that. I definitely have to. I know a lot of people who would uh, who would enjoy that one. Especially if somebody's like, are you hiding over here? And then I'd be like, yeah, good employees are hard to find. Oh, there you go. I also find it funny how we both pick characters with glasses. Well, there wasn't really that much many options. Not for me, there was. I just said long hair, um, stubble, and then I chose beard. Even though I think my character doesn't even have stubble. Which I'm going to recreate my character. New avatar. Proceed. My choices were, like... The choices that I wanted was like either hat or glasses, and I went glasses. Yeah. Only five attributes are allowed. 
How dare you try and change that? <laughs> Get rid of brown eyes and put in a hat. <laughs> oh, it won't let me, like, remove it. Oh. Wait, but... Okay, that's actually a really cool new avatar. I like that. What the hell? Um, I'll show you my new avatar. This is my new avatar. I think it looks better. Also, I said my guy has white eyes, but for some reason it keeps giving him red eyes. So. Oh yeah, that is an option. I was just disappointed there's no, like, blonde. Yeah, that's what I was going for first, too. When I first was making the I was like, I want to make a blonde. I was like, fuck. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, That's great. Now one. now he's an angrier Aizen. <laughs> sort of. I think it's more stern. Mm. But I think it still looks better. I don't know. There's just something about, like, characters with glasses that make them seem, like, more threatening. Um, also, uh, back to the days of, um, when you used to play, um, Ace Ventura. <laughs> That's a good one. But the problem with that know. one, that one is best, like, when read. Because if you said it out loud, people would be like, what? Yeah. I mean, I, there was one which I was telling the other day, which is better when it's said, though. Which is, I stopped by the roadside um, stand that said, lobster tails for $2. I paid my $2, and the guy said, once upon a time, there was a lobster. <laughs> All right, that'll work. Cool. Oh, cool. All right. The I'm going to wait for my energy to get back up and moving, and then I'm going to go to the training ground again. On training grounds on Battle Arena. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at angry cats until they die. Would a summon be a ninjutsu? I think it is. I think it is. No, at least it's not a uh, ninjutsu. It might no. just be its own special thing, though. It's not... Because uh, I'm looking through this, it's not a Taijutsu, it's not a Genjutsu, it's not a Ninjutsu. So if I go Intelligence, no, Willpower, no, Strength, no, alright, no Filter, Summon Titan Bar. Yeah, no, it doesn't say anything that needs it. Hmm. It has 3,000 health points. Fuck. That wouldn't be too bad to learn, actually. Just summoning a giant titan ball. Even though it doesn't say giant, I just think it's a giant. <laughs> Alright, battle arena, let's go. Summon an ally for a certain number of rounds. Its stats are scaled to the same total as the summoner, modified by the power of the jutsu as a percentage. So I think the way to level this one up, it wouldn't be to any particular, uh, like, stat. It would just be to, well, I guess if it's scaled to your stats, so, like, you raise your stats, this one would also get stronger. Yeah. But you would have to, like, level up the jutsu itself. 
Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how this is working. I just keep losing to this damn cat. Because one of my abilities takes half of my energy during the fight. Hmm. Maybe you should just get good, bruh. Unless because you were training Genjutsu, it means that you didn't have, um... Too much to cost for it, so maybe I'll just train Taijutsu and that'll help. Maybe. Because I've got like 200 in my Genjutsu offense. Yeah, I've got 100. 200 in my Genjutsu offense, and uh, I've leveled up Shackles like twice. Yeah. And if I go Liver Shot. It doesn't say what it says when it gets upgraded, it doesn't know. So if I go to Jutsu's... No, that is just the base, okay. It also doesn't help that I have to get into close combat and you also have a ranged attack. Yep. And the best thing is, is that I can just stand there and just spam it. <laughs> yeah. I think as soon as I get a good um, level on Taiju, so I think I'll be able to start spamming mine. Maybe that's just the tactic, you know? Just build nothing but offense and then just spam attacks and get a whole bunch of money. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. As soon as you buy an item, it takes a while for it to go on cooldown, which is weird. I did the same thing to my um weapon. That is weird. Maybe it's to prevent. Maybe it's to prevent you from like buying some equipment when you're in like a battle against PvP or something. Yeah, maybe. Oh, there is Bucket Jutsu stuff. Sonic Slash. It doesn't say whether it's a ranged attack or not. How can you tell if it's a ranged attack? That is a good question. Alright, if I go to Genjutsu, Soul Shackle. It doesn't say. Well, that's annoying. Because I'm thinking Sonic Slash should be a ranged weapon or ranged attack, which means I wouldn't mind getting that. I just need to beat another cat. If you can actually beat it. Well, if I train up my Taijutsu, I should be able to. Yeah, it doesn't say. Unless it has something to do with the effect power, but I figured that was, like, how much damage it does. That's pretty sure what it does, because if I go liver shot, effect power is 28.75, which is higher than your Genjutsu. Hmm. Yay, I've got some armor on and nothing else. Nice. Practically naked. It's like Levia when we found her in the D&D &D campaign. If you remember that. Yep. <laughs> I remember a lot of our D&D &D campaign. As do I, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, the new D and D campaign. I'm thinking of. I'm having a lot more freedom involved with character creation. 
where instead of like you know just saying oh i want to be a warrior and that's all you do you um basically uh can choose your own abilities while you're a warrior instead of doing the same thing over and over again mm. Info. It doesn't say what stats do. I learned past the custom for yourself. Uh, I love that. It's like more questions and answers, and then one of them is, "I'm more, I am poor. More Rio, please." <laughs> That's a great question. Okay, so there is the fire country, wind country, frost country, water country, and sun country. And then there's also apparently the Shinobi universe. Okay. Oh, university. There we go, not universe. We are in the Shinobi universe. Yeah. I love how one of the questions on this forum is, why have a forum when we could just use Discord? Yeah. All right. 45 to 52 offenses. Uh, I want to train a bit more, but I'll get that a bit higher. Okay, I need like a hundred and three experience in order to level up. What? Still, uh, it's still the original guy that is like doing the the game pretty much. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Terriator. Nice. He's level 19. Alright, if we go edit. Alright, we want this. There we go. Hey, look, who's this Kairos guy? Gonna have to report him. <laughs> uh, if you refresh my profile, you should see my new Nendo. Like 
like my Nintendo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to kind of say as skillful as Tails, but... I think that's a bit too far. You could also probably see my other character that I made. Which you did scroll past it. Oh, did I? Oh, jeez. I guess that guy really likes anime. Yeah! <laughs> Go Hunt's Ninja Way is anime. It is the only way. But uh, my um, other character was named after one of my D&D characters. So... If you can remember one of my D&D characters that I put into the um, campaign, then you should be able to find it. Or you could just remember the picture. Why is your two two cents? That something's wrong. I guess you didn't find my character because you went straight past us. Yeah, because like I'm just I'm looking at all kinds of other things. Remember, he meant to look. You said that he looked like an older Sasuke. Yeah, right there. There it is, Tados. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's why, because I seen Dirk, so my mind, my eyes went to Dirk, and I'm like, no, that's not it, but that sounds familiar. And then I looked back up, and I seen Ramen Master, so <laughs> you, there's a lot here that's just like, ooh, what's this? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was just messing around with that guy. I mm. don't even think his stats are any good, which you, I don't think you can see his stats anyway. What? Oh shit, my, my training's done. Finish! Now I have 319 Gendra to offense. Wow. That cat won't know what hit him. I'm gonna kill that cat. That's a dead cat. Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. Bam. Two hits. He's dead. Wow. I've not been able to stun him. He's just too good. Yeah. I think it's because his willpower is higher than yours or something like that. Mm. I am doing 33 damage to him, though. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, at least it's not like a guaranteed stun, because that would just be broken. Yeah. Now, I know that uh, the damage and even your health did at one point get ridiculously high. Oh, yeah. I was looking at some of the AI, and some of them have like 3,000 to 5,000 HP. Mm, no, I mean ridiculously high. <laughs> okay. There were times when, like, I'd be just roaming around as a Chunin, and a special Jonin would show up and do, like, a million damage to me. Oh. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, okay. Of service. Oh yeah, there it is. Two thousand five. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's copyright two thousand five to two thousand twenty three. I was right. <laughs> uh, where is it? 
I want to listen to some Naruto stuff while we play this, because it's fitting. Um, believe it. There we go. I don't know how this angry cat is creating, like, four-headed dragons. Is it that strong? I do love the description of it, though, because it's just like, oh, yeah, Anger Cat creates uh, four-headed dragons that, uh, you know, fire elemental roar at you. What? Do you, it's your turn. What do you do? I'm reading these lyrics. Okay, yeah, that's more. I was, like, reading the lyrics of this song because it says, Believe It, Naruto. Hmm. And they have a symbol down the bottom which resembles more of, um, like, bleach. And, like, the first few, like, verses were more, um, like, they actually was more like bleach, um, sort of look. But then I read the next part, like, the next Oops. verses, and that's more, um, Naruto, so I kind of saved it. Mm. <laughs> um... It seems that uh, we might be able to change even, like, if we get a new avatar when we become, like, a Genin or something, we might be able to get something new. Yeah. Because one of the current, one of the attributes is student. Yeah. Sounds about right. Because, like, we're not really wearing any uniforms or anything, we're just wearing standard clothes, which is what they technically did. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I got some armor, so that there's that. I doubt that's going to change a picture, though. Mm. I like that the remove the remove bloodline is a pair of scissors. Uh, also, apparently, it's a bit of a hot tag, but I've never been impressed with um. My Hero Academia. i never seen it. Everyone who's told me says, like, everyone who's, like, watching it says it's such a good anime. But apparently it doesn't start getting good until you get to, like, third or fourth season. But then what's the point? You might as well go watch something that gets good immediately. Yeah. Like, I don't mind, like, you know, if it takes a few episodes or even, like, the first season because it's all building it up. Hmm. But if it takes, like, three or four seasons, then no. I mean, I guess the same could be said about, like, Naruto Shippuden. Yes and no. It's like a follow-up of, like, Naruto, so there's a lot of filler which shows his training, but then when it gets into the actual stuff, which most people end up skipping the filler, mm. that's when it starts getting really good. It's just funny with, like, ori like original Naruto, when you start over, like, you have to watch to, what is it? You watch up until the point that, like, Naruto and Sasuke have their big battle on, like, like their final big battle. Yep. And then after that, you don't have to watch anything else because the rest is all filler. Yeah. But I find it funny that, like, in the actual storyline, Jiraiya's just like, come with me, we'll train. And then they leave. And then the next ep episodes after that, it's just like Naruto's still in the village. He's waiting for Jiraiya to come pick him up. <laughs> yep. It's like you mean you haven't gone yet? What the hell? You probably want to go pet on some girls. Well, of course. Uh, 
um, if you could have any like custom bloodline that you can think of, what would you have as your like bloodline? Ooh. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'd probably have like a, a bloodline um, that's like kind of like the Sharingan, but more like you use a lot more of the Genjutsu abilities. Yeah. Basically a bloodline where it's just like, you look into my eyes and you're fucked. <laughs> um, I was thinking of my, if I had like one, you know, um, how they fight that uh, guy back towards like the start of Naruto and everything, like that's the first big mission. And they fight that person who can like summon those mirrors, like ice mirrors. Oh, Haku, yeah. Yeah, I would have something similar to that, but instead of, like, ice mirrors, it would be, like, portals. So I would step into a portal myself, and then all these portals will open up, and these clones would come out of the portal so you wouldn't know which one I am. Yeah, that's basically what he did. Yes and no. It was more like he was moving so fast, it looked like he was everywhere when he wasn't. In yeah. this one, it's like, as if I'm summoning, like, shadow clones and stuff like that, or just standard clones, if you, if you really want to. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to start training Veil of Shadows. It still takes forever for you. That's so weird. I don't know why. I guess your characters are really dumb. I swear I'm smart. What do you mean you have 10 intelligence? 13. Okay, yeah. 13.19. I swear I'm smart. I'm, I'm just not going to be very strong. I haven't really been training my defenses. I have. <laughs> I've been focusing on my offense. I mean, level one, I'm just focusing on oh. one stat, so... Everyone always says the best um the best offense is a good defense and the, the best defense is a good offense. Mm. And there are other people who say good offense is a um well the best offense is a good offense and the best defense is a good defense, so ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. it's time to kill a cat. And, and there's the few the people cat. who say the best offense is a punch and the best defense is a kick. Time to kill a cat. Killing a kitty cat. Killing a kitty cat. Why is this cat stronger? Oh, because there's a freaking barrier between us. Okay, that's why. Just a feeble mind, a feeble mind, a break it. Barrier takes 17.48 damage. It now has 82.52 health left. Angry Cat only takes 16 points. Yeah, that's why he was dying. He was only taking 16. Because mm. the barrier was in the way. You gotta remove that barrier. Mmm. Oh, so I'm not gonna round it. Oh no, once the barrier was gone, he took full damage. Yeah. 
I don't know how I genjutsu the barrier to death, but... <laughs> See, I'm a taijutsu master, so that means I don't have to worry about barriers. You just, you just punch them barriers. No, I just go around them. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, training's almost done. Do, 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 do. All right. Veil of Shadows. 98 Taijutsu offense. I now have 243 Taijutsu offense. Yeah, cool. Good for you. Nice job. Um, all right. I need to let my energy go up a bit. So, oh, sleep. Oh my goodness, that is so much faster now. Oh, this is an AoE! Nice. Okay, I, yeah, I have to, like, place it on the ground and then... Interesting. You know what? That goddamn barrier. Get away from that barrier, you stupid cat. Ooh, I did 50 damage to that cat. Damn. 57.50. Ah, I got him stunned. I finally got him stunned. Look at time. So I guess it's your Genju who versus his willpower. Yeah. As Levia finishes a complex complex set of hand signs, they unleash the Veil of Shadows. Angry Cat's reality transforms. Illusionary darkness ent entwines shadowy figures torment and unseen tendrils of despair constrict Angry Cat, their agony manifesting in every agonizing twitch. Angry Cat comes to their senses upon Levia's blade. The Veil of Shadows ceases its haunting torture as Angry Cat clutches their wound. I don't have a sword. <laughs> I won. Alright, hold on. So I move, move, move. I take 19 points of damage. Uh, my fifth strike through pinpointing Angry Cat's liver. The blow induces searing pain. Angry Cat's agony sending them to their knees from the blow. Um, Angry Cat's chakra cost is increased by 25.4% for the next three rounds. Angry Cat will take two damage for the next two rounds. Angry Cat takes 38.74 damage. And then creates a four-headed dragon. Angry Cat, oh, I take 19.29 damage, and Angry Cat, Cat takes 38.74. And then I beat him, yep. And I got 40 money for that, damn. I'm getting so much money from beating Angry Cat. Um, I'm also 3 XP off of leveling up. Oh, nice. I still need 148, but I'm in the middle of training, so. Uh, we need stat, and we need Bokujutsu, Sonic Slash. Yeah, it says train 20 seconds for 50 euro for Rio, and it's only taking me 20 seconds to train it. There's something weird going on with your character. I don't know what it is. Maybe Genjutsu takes longer? I don't think so, because I chose the exact same thing with my other character, and it didn't take that long. Yeah. Alright. Jutsus! I will... Wait for that to load. There we go. And then we equip. I now have three different Jutsus. Uh, Battle Arena. Enter. Oh my goodness, I have a rage attack now. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Just watch out for them barriers. It's fine. I had enough space that I didn't need to worry about it. Oh, good. The bulls are, like, percentage-wise.
And I beat the cat. Yeah, like... Oh, cool. Robot Shop is pretty good for 100% uh... HP for, like, 5 Rio. I have enough to get another Jutsu if I want, I think. Right, if I want to go... Bakujutsu... What's a Glyph Blade? Wields a blade etched with mystic glyphs. Okay. No, I need a little bit more Gyo, so okay, that's fine. Complete missions, get rewards, high valued items, for reputation points, manage your money, alliance status between villages. Everything is probably going to be like freaking uh, neutral for the time being, and there's only two villages. Mm. I kind of want to make another character and see what's in the other village. It'd be all the same thing, but... Hmm. There might be some differences, though. Like, the the only differences, at least in the past, the only differences between the, the villages was, one, the location you were in, and two, the kind of jutsus you can learn. Okay. Or at least, like, village jutsus. Yep. Yeah. But Konoha was the more popular one because everyone wanted to be part of, you know, the Leaf Village. Yeah. So Kanoki was, was the popular village. On top of that, it was also the village that, like, you know, the modders and the developers were a part of. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> So everyone wanted to be part of that one. I joined it because it was just like, why would I want to do everything else? It, it's it's Konoha. I would want, of course, I'd want to be part of Konoha. Well, I'm getting no experience for offensive Taijutsu or offensive Bokujutsu. Did oh. you did, were you able to level up? I leveled up to level two. There you go. I am now level two. Yay, I have Beast Claw Illusion. I, I now have 150 HP, 150 CP, and 150 SP. Yep. That's oh, what... I am now above you. Get on my level. Give me a minute, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, training grounds... Um, stat, Taijutsu, I really want to get Eclipse Cyclone, because that sounds dope. Alright, I'm going to start training Strength for now, because I think I definitely need Strength. These words you've spoken. I wish, like, there were descriptions to that you could look at that actually showed what the stats actually did. Hmm. Like, strength specifically does this, or speed specifically does this. I thought you're buying Lullaby. Yeah, it even says there for you, train 20 seconds. And then yeah. train 36 seconds. 26. And I'm just looking. It also, some of them also say, like, the range for some reason. Like, range 3. This oh, one says, it says range yeah. 4. Oh. This one does not, though, so I don't know what the range is. Yeah, and like your 
Chains don't say it either. No. I don't think Veil of Shadows do, do either. Nope, range three. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take Lullaby. Yeah, because my, uh, my Sonic Slash doesn't even show range either, but it's the same range as your chains. Yeah. Which I think I'm gonna start training Sonic Slash. Because if I can start leveling that up as well, then oh my goodness. Okay, that is a terrible joke. Still... It's blue and smells like red paint. Blue and smells like red paint? Yeah. I don't know. Blue paint. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Great joke. Mm-hmm. Oh okay, yeah, that's a good one. Got to head it to short people that can't reach it on their own. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said a joke like that before. Because there was like a short person and like they couldn't reach something up there. I like couldn't reach something that was high up. They're like, can you come help me? I can't do it. And I just walk over and I was like, ah, oh, don't sell yourself short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, just been for a prostate exam. Got a thumbs up. I've heard that one. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I went to a psychic. I knocked on the front door. Yield. Who is it? So I left. <laughs> oh. oh, it seems like the arena gives more like willpower and intelligence. Okay, I'm sending this to you. It's oh, it's freaking based on your Enjoy. own stats. That is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes more sense when it's written down. Yeah. But... That's the kind of that's the kind of joke that if you actually made in school you'd get like detention. Yeah. Um, remember when plastic surgery was a taboo subject? Now you mentioned Botox and nobody raises an eyebrow. <laughs> there now I got These jokes. I got four jutsus now. I now have lullaby. I'm just getting all the goddamn oh. all all of the genjutsus. Um, I saw a really funny joke um recently. Mm -hmm. Um, I was watching some guy like um play a game on YouTube and that, and so he lifted up like the like his character's pillow, and there was like a toothbrush and a ruler underneath it. And the stream is like immediately like going, um, why on earth is there a um a ruler underneath this um like underneath the, like, your pillow and everything? And then someone in chat redeemed like TTS is like, well, how else am I supposed to measure how long I sleep for? <laughs> and we're just like, oh my goodness, that is so perfect. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, I've already finished my level 2 thing too. It's something weird with your character where everything is extended. Yeah, that's that's what's slowing me down, is all this training is just... Yeah. What's slowing me down is I don't have enough money. Oh, money's been no object. I've been fighting in the arena whenever I'm training. Yeah. Wait, can you, like, fight in the thing and train at the same time? Yep. Fuck it, I'm doing that. Oh no, I'm fighting a dog now. Oh no. Not the dog. Can I steal from the dog? Not enough health? Oh no, don't tell me I'm dead. Fuck. Okay, so it's an extra five Rio every time you die. Damn. Hmm. Uh, game info AI. I was up against a sad puppy. How did I lose to a sad puppy? <laughs> I mean, he just looked at you and you went, "Ah." I have a feeling that going close range is not the way to do it. You need to go long range. Some of these ju genjutsu, I swear. It's like, I'm watching you and you're doing fine. You can cast like two or three times. Yep. Levi Levia me, creates... I, I have the same stat, like, stat line in my offensive taijutsu, and yet it costs way more stamina than I, like yours does. Well, you're using taijutsu. That makes sense. That's more, you know... Physically, yeah, physically, for it. it's more physically abusive. Uh, I used my new flute jutsu, and it's like, Levia creates a flute from the bones of their body. By imbuing chakra into the flute, they begin to play a harsh melody that slowly erodes Angry Cat's eardrums. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um... Oh, I can finish training. God damn it. I need like 32 more experience points to level up. Are you kidding me? Uh, we go with that one. Sure. Oh, good. I've got Desert Illusions now. There. I've got all jutsus, finally. Nice. I want to see what happens if I make a um, ninjutsu character. See if it makes any difference. Come get me, bitch. Come at me, bruh. I'm behind the rock. Ooh, that is such a good that is such a good one. I like that jutsu. I should be using that jutsu first. Uh we'll just go to that oh, actually no, we'll go with the other one for now. Nah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, nah. Let's go blue hair, black eyes. Uh
All right, let's see if this works. Cool. All right. My endless desert spell of jutsu is great. Levia crafts illusions of an endless des desert, disorientating angry cat in the arid expanse, leaving them lost and bewildered. It is now angry cat's turn. Levia damage given is increased by up to 10.3% for the next two rounds. Ooh, before I do anything, I'm going to see if I'm lucky. Hospital. Go. I didn't get anything again. What? What? I will say that my characters are really cute. Okay, that's all my good news. Yeah. This is my uh new character. Starting over again. Well, like, I'm trying to do Taijutsu, and that just isn't, like, fun whatsoever, because I'm losing even though I'm technically on the same skill level as you. Maybe they just haven't gotten the skill of the Taijutsu set yet. Yeah. Which, until that happens, I don't see much point in doing that, so I might as well just play something else. And see how good ninjutsu is. Uh, range of three. Electric more. Your electric-infused chakra races towards an opponent like a tiger, mauling them to shreds. How do I go with the electric maul? That sounds like fun. I'll see if there's anything with bigger range, though. Range three, range three, range three, range three with Hydro Spears. No. Heaven's Tempest. No. Electric Mall sounds like the most fun, so I'm going to do that. And then we train in Jitsu. <laughs> so I'm messaging one of my friends um at the moment. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to be like all um angry at me and everything and she's saying if you don't listen to me I'll bite you. And I just tell her going, if you bite me I'll enjoy it. Oof. <laughs> She had no response for that. Her only response was, why? <laughs> Do I also just go fireball so I can just shoot fireballs at people? I mean, fireball hits more than one opponent. True. It is an AoE, and it's a good standard one. Yeah, fuck it. I also train in that. That'll be my 2 2 2. Unleash your inner Uchiha.
All right, my duties are now equipped. Battle arena. Let's go. Oh my goodness, so I can use fireball without even needing to move. Oh. I need to, like, move closer to use my soul shackle. Oh, okay. Chop. I realize what I'm doing. I'm ending my turn way too early. That's probably why I'm losing so much. Yeah, but I'm noticing that, like, even when I'm attacking again, I'm still getting hit. Like, every time I hit the enemy, they hit me back. Yeah, but I'm not giving my abilities enough time to cool down. Ah, My friend really asked me if fighting is a kink. Anything's a kink. Yeah. Thank you, Life of Stone. So, what do you think of my new character? Think she looks pretty? She looks like she's listening to music and not listening to you. Yeah, that honestly sounds perfect to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, excuse me. Excuse me. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, it's like, she looks like one of those characters, like, uh, if she was a ninja, she'd be a ninja that's constantly listening to music. And that's, like, how she, yeah. uh, how she goes. Like, yeah. that's how she focuses. Well, either how she focuses, or that's just how she relaxes, sort of thing, and then when she gets serious, she takes him out. Mm. I'm imagining, like, a Kakashi sort of thing where she's, like, very nonchalant sort of thing and, like, she occasionally fights with her earbuds in. But then as soon as she gets, like, to a serious thing, instead of, like, lifting up the headband to reveal his eye, she, like, takes out the earbuds and starts fighting. Yeah, that's... that That's good character. That, that... To me, that fits perfectly... In with, like, the Naruto universe. Well, I mean, it, it kind of fits, because I'm pretty sure there isn't too much technology inside of Naruto universe. Yeah, but there is enough to... Because they do have, like, earpieces. Yeah. Can I go? There we go. You won. behind, I'm all behind, sinking on. Sorry, what? It's the way this is worded sometimes. Oh. Also, I because um, fireball is an AOE. 
I can technically take a step back and then shoot it, and it will still hit the cat, and then he has to move forward in order to do his thing. Yeah. But so I think I'm gonna train up a little bit. So like it, this one says like Livia stares at angry cat barrier without a without a warning angry cat barriers arms and legs are shackled. All right. I was like I guess it's because I hit the angry cat and the barrier. Possibly yeah. Uh... Haven't you leveled up yet? Nah, I've been fighting in the arena. Uh, yeah. I can just finish training, and that'll probably give me enough to level up. But I've been focusing on getting money. And getting a few more, like, general stats and defenses. Um, the other image, by the way, this is the other option I had for my, and I don't like it as much. So yeah, now she's got the earpiece in and, and is totally ignoring you while she's out on the street. I guess, yeah, that's more like a necklace to me, though. Uh. It doesn't go up to her ear. Well, the other one, that actually looks like an earpiece. I think it's like... You say it looks more like an, an, a necklace, but I think it is an ear, like a microphone with an earpiece. Yeah. I'm still going to use the other one, though. That one looks better, in my opinion. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to try one more. See what happens. Oh, now that is Hinata style if I've ever seen it. I just found Hinata character. You just found Hinata? Ooh. Hinata's my favorite Naruto character. Yep, that's a Hinata. Hinata with glasses. I like it, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm technically not going to be exactly like Hinata, but I like it. Look, Hinata's the only one from the village besides Naruto who literally fought against pain. Yeah. She lost, but she's the only one who actually came to Naruto's aid. I mean, she survived for a bit. Everyone else was just like, fuck this, we can't win. I will say, Hinata has one of the largest character growths in all of, like, Naruto. Yes, that is true. She does. Most people are like, oh, you know, slight attitude change here and there, or getting kind of stronger. Hinata has, like, a full change. Yep. And I, I, so. I don't like some of the changes that happen later on, but... Oh yeah, that's great. Angry Cat is a level one nun, is not from any village, is status awake, gender unknown, clan nun, onbu nun, bloodline nun, experience zero, experience for level, dot dot dot, special reputation zero, <laughs> federal support nuns. Ah, good. This cat isn't getting any federal support. <laughs> Right, so this is the other humans. Kiko is not part of anything. What about Kimiko? No? Alright. What about Haruto? Oh, there we go. He's a level 1 elder and he's from the village Konoki. Hmm. Uh, what about Hisame? 
not not from the village. And then there's one more which is Junko, which is not from the village. Okay. What are you looking for? There's like so many different. I was like looking at different. Uh... Ooh, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, Dark Angel and Rock League 21, Core 1 and 2. That actually both, the, both of them sound familiar. I think I recognize those usernames from back then. Dark Angel and Rookie 21. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I need to make a new Nindo, don't I? Yeah, you do. There we go. My new window's done. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wait, did you even make a window yourself or no? No, I haven't. Oh, you should. I have not. So I always find that difficult to to write. Well, like, your Nindo is the reason why you're being a ninja. Yeah. But that entails... That's the reason why Levia was to be a ninja. But that entails, you know, character backstories and such. This Levy I haven't figured out yet. Mine's pretty obvious. Mine was inspired by Hinata. So she's telling up Hinata. <laughs> Yeah, one day she just... Uh, then again, this, like, I always found that, like, this game takes place in, like, a separate universe. Yeah. It's from fine. the Naruto it's just, series. Just the anime. Yeah. She watched the anime, that's the whole reason why. Because, uh, once upon a time, like, there was no difference between this and the anime. Like, the villages were the same names and everything. Yeah. Uh, but then they got hit with a cease and desist. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. Yeah, so they had to go and change the names of some of the villages. Konoha was one of them, so it became Kanoki. And somehow that was like, okay, yeah, you're allowed to do that. Oh. I think uh, the Sand Village became Glacier. Okay. I think, because I believe the Sand Village was to the south, and then Glacier is now to the south, which is weird. Because Glacier sounds more icy. Yeah. And you would think I that... Mean, to be fair, to be fair, the Arctic is the largest desert in the world. That is true. And there is a South Pole. Yeah. Which, by the way, you are closer to than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I don't know why, but I always thought that the Arctic and the South Pole connected together because it was on the bottom and the top of the globe. I mean, it makes sense once you know that the world's round. Yeah. There we go, I got a hundred and ten ninjutsu offense. Yay. Well, a hundred and ten point five four. Wow, some of these battles like don't give you much. Yeah. Like in this battle I did not get any defensive stuff. Just offensive. I think it's because you took barely any damage or no damage. Oh yeah, I took no damage at all. Hmm. That's neat. I like that. 
my health and all that still screw up, but. Hey, you know what? I'm fucking rich. Where's the item shop? <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice having money. Oh, yeah. Ten Rio, Ten Rio. I can buy a lot of those. I don't need any armor. This is... <gasps> I need 472 more? Hmm. Coat of Diamonds just prevents from being stunned. I already have a piece of armor, so... There's no accessories. I think, I think if I actually wanted to go with um, a more Hinata style, I'll go Ninjutsu and Taijutsu. Because that is technically Hinata. That is, yes. That is what she uses. So I could technically still go Hinata if I wanted to. She uses the wonderful, the wonderful gentle fits technique. I could buy an elemental staff. What does it do? Deals damage. Okay. Oh, damn it. The generals are intelligence and willpower, but the stats is ninjutsu. Wait, what? Yeah. Elemental staff for ninjutsu? Elemental staff is ninjutsu. Okay. And intelligence and sure. willpower. So, uh, that's out of the question for me. None of these weapons are Genjutsu, except for the yeah, ones that, no, except for the ones that like are just highest. Let's go with the sword then. The sword is like one Ryu, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sword of Shadows, but that the generals on that require strength and speed. Yeah. I don't use... Yeah, I, it doesn't say any genjutsu, though. Okay, yeah. No, there's no genjutsu weapon. There is, like... I could use the short knife, which gives me the highest. It uses my highest stat. The brass knuckles uses taijutsu. It's a shame they don't have a rapier. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> the bow would also work, except it uses strength and speed. Yeah. See, the, the short knife doesn't. It's like, you know what? I'll buy the short knife. I'm buying the short knife. Short knife bot. Oh, is that stackable? Eh, it's freaking stackable. Uh, Nothing available? Ballerina, go! Fireball! Is this what I think it is? Don't tell me it is what I think it is. Yeah, it's a consumable. Okay, there's got to be a way to turn down the cooldown, because this cooldown is crazy. What? What? Yeah, there is. Have more jutsus. I only have the two jutsus, and they still take forever to cool down. Level two! Awesome! I should win after this round. Yay, I won! Level 2 student, need 912. I got a little bit of cash. I also have so much points in your stream, you need to think of, like, redeems you can do. Yeah. You know what? There are so many things that I still have to do with my stream. Ah! Oh, no arena! 
That's bullshit. Uh huh. Take that. <laughs> That's okay. I'm asleep. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have 533 Genjutsu offense. Wow. The way I used to do it was like, I would like focus one. So I'd be like, okay, Genjutsu offense, get that to a thousand. Then I would go, okay, uh, if I wanted to go uh, Ninjutsu, so I'll go Ninjutsu offense to a thousand. Then I do my defenses, would get them to a thousand. Yep. Because I don't know if it's still a thing. No, it's not. This is it's not a thing anymore. Holy shit. There was something called in this game that was a level hold. Okay. So in the past, in order to level up, you had to click a link at the top of the screen, and that's how you leveled up. But Okay. If you didn't click it, you could still continue to train and still gain experience points. And yeah, afterwards you could keep clicking the link until you got to the next level before you ranked up. But if you didn't rank up, you could just hold yourself at the final level of one rank, like student, and just keep raising your stats until they were maxed out. And then you ranked up. Okay. And the problem with that is that's what everybody did. So if you played the game normally as it was intended, you would be severely underleveled and everyone would kick your ass. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> but this time, they make it so that going into your profile makes you level up. So I don't think that's a thing okay. anymore. Um, I think I'm going to go with this Ninjutsu now. I've got Hydro Spears. Right. Now the next question is, what do I want to level up next? Alright, I now have three Nidjutsus. I don't know if there's any... Okay, for some reason it says that the fireball is three range, but it's longer range than my electric maul, which is also three range. Huh. That doesn't make much sense. Again, you know, early access, alpha version. Yeah. Some things will change. Okay, having three ninjutsus is so much better. Uh-huh. Aw, oh, sad face. What? As of this moment, all jutsus have been overhauled to closely align how they should reflect in the game upon release. This isn't final by any means, but as of this moment, each offense should be relatively equal to each other, except Genjutsu. Genjutsu users don't have as many options as the other offenses, so that is something I'll be looking into changing soon. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, how much cash will I have now? 53, so I can get one more uh, Ninjutsu. Oh, excuse me. AI gives you uh, more defensive stats and more generals to make doing battle arena more rewarding. The more factors that are taken into consideration, the less of the damage will be. 
the jutsu the AI using is far weaker than every other jutsu in the game. If you're dying to your respective AI, then your stats are not what they should be as the AI is at its weakest it has ever been. For those who state that their damage fell, the jutsu you were using was ridiculously overturned and brought in line with every other jutsu in the game. You basically had a cannon while everyone else had a pistol. Wait, what? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, pick a jutsu for me to use. Do I go Electric Ensnare, Heaven's Tempest, or Blizzard? Oof. Let's see here. You're saying... These are all uh, ninjutsu, right? Yes. I've already got electric mole fireball and hydro spears, so I'm pretty sure that's a war that's like a Warcraft shield or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Um okay, it summons a blizzard to freeze your foes, but it does not actually freeze your foes. Yeah. Wait, so if I go Fireball, damage for Fireball is 28. Technically speaking, Blizzard is stronger. Technically, uh, Hydro Speeds is stronger. Technically, more speed. Okay, Fireball is shit if you're not facing multiple opponents. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Like, I don't want to go Blizzard because that's a lot of damage. Effect power yeah, 30. Yeah. You increase your oh, intelligence and willpower. Nah, man, you want to go replacement technique. Nah. I'm going Titan Ball was my last one. So I can summon the Titan Ball. <laughs> nah, bro, you want to go replacement technique. <laughs> That's the best shoots in the game. I used to be, I used to do a lot of the water element when I played before. I found a lot of the water element stuff was fun. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Really? R really? Really? You had to do that joke? What? When'd you put the, the, the 12 inch tall joke up? What do you mean? <laughs> All right, beating this cat's getting a lot easier now. Yeah. <laughs> and I've only got the 100 ninjutsu, so having a range definitely helps. Like, I'm sure taijutsu gets better as time goes on, but right now it's range is superior. As of right now, yeah. Okay, I'm curious. Hold on. Battle Arena. Let's go. It's a sad puppy! <laughs> Good luck. It has more HP. Chop! And I won. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Alright, Battle Arena, let's go. And apparently the sad puppy can create four-headed dragons, too. So, in other words, they can do the exact same thing, and there's no originality. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. I, 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 I absorbed two damage and converted into health, stamina, and chakra now. Yeah, it increases every time you level up, yeah. Yeah. Um... So, Komo concentrates fire chakra just above the palm of her hand, creating a blazing ball of fire. Komo thrusts her hand forward, throwing the explosive ball of flames towards 2 and 8. Barrier takes 11 points of damage and has so much left. Um, and Angry Cat takes 22.67. Uh, 
uh, round two summons head four. Round three, Como invokes a frigid blizzard, hurling icy winds at the town that freezes Angry Cat, immobilizing them within the frost. Takes 23.27 damage. Uh, and then there is... Uh, Como releases Water Nature Chakra into the surrounding area. With expert chakra control, they create a spear and fire it towards Angry Cat. Takes 22.86 damage. And then Como creates a torrent of chakra from the hand. A racing tiger of lightning lunges at the Angry Cat, mauling them with electromagnetic energy ripping at their body. Takes 22.86 damage. Not gonna lie, this ninjutsu stuff sounds dope. <laughs> Go again. You want to know what you want to know what I'm imagining? Well, her her best jutsu should be that tiger one. And every time she uses it, she's got Eye of the Tiger playing in her headphones. It's the Eye of the Tiger, <laughs> it's the thrill of the fight. <laughs> I mean, it is the one I always finish with, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what I'm doing right now is I'm basically going Fireball into Blizzard, into Hydro Spears, into Electric Maw. Because my thought process is I'm throwing, like, fire at them, which then heats them up quite a lot. And then I suddenly change their temperature by throwing a Blizzard at them. Mm. And then I cover them in water, and then I do even more damage by shooting lightning at them. Strategy. <laughs> I feel like what they're trying to go for in this it, with this new uh, with this new core, as they put it, um, I guess the new patch is they're trying to make it more like the Bleach RPG, and that's like their their side one that they made also a long time ago, which is still up. Okay. Yeah, because they have a Bleach one, and with the Bleach one, there was more tactics like. You could like hit the opponent with a certain kind of spell and they'd start to take residual damage and then you'd be like, All right, now I hit them with this, which lowers their stats and you had to like move around and like it's like they brought their ideas from the bleach RPG and they're bringing it into this. Even though they started with this, yeah. then made the bleach one. And I think this one was more popular. Two hundred and sixteen ninjutsu offense now. Nice. But if oh. I had, if I had to choose, I do prefer the Ninja RPG over the Bleach RPG. I tried playing a Bleach um, game on the phone, which was apparently made for an official Bleach game, where you create your own custom character. <sighs> the only thing I didn't like about it is you couldn't choose your abilities. So the first ability you would always get is Gatsuko Tensho. Oh, wow. And, like, it was always copying other abilities from the anime, not, like, creating unique, like, abilities for your character or letting you choose which ones you wanted to use. Yeah, no, the Bleach RPG did let you choose. And, yes, a lot of the abilities were from the anime, but they were, like, a lot of the spells that the Shinigamis used. Yeah. Like, you couldn't use, like, you know, Orihime's, like, little spirit things. Like, that wasn't an option. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have you seen the, um, new Bleach season? No, I haven't. They do something I think is a terrible idea in it, but they're just following the manga, so... Hmm. I've seen, like, you know, the, the ba like, one of the battles, and I was like, holy god, that's good, but it started to get into, like, a huge argument, so I stopped watching it. Um, do you want to know what happens in it? Nah, I'm gonna watch it eventually, because I, I did start re-watching, like, the original one. Yeah. And I, I stopped for a little bit, because, like, the original one is actually on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah. Uh, Titan Bella. What? Yeah, um, I 
but I will say I don't like I can understand why they went that way. I just don't like that they went that way. Hmm. Like I could I like the bad guy they do, and I like the sort of the story they go with it. I don't like how they incorporated some of the previous history into it. And I don't like the way that they go for um, character development in it. So. Ooh, I get to beat up Angry Cat again. So what I want to go with. And I won in three hits this time instead of two. If I go willpower. Oh yeah, that's another change that they made that I just noticed right now. Usually when you yeah. uh like level up your Genjutsu or your ninjutsu, um your chakra or stamina will increase slightly depending on which one you chose. So like you can e like, you, like you can easily um figure out what kind of ninja a person, another player was just by looking at their chakra or stamina. I guess that's how they fix the training now, is that they do it just by levels instead of what you're training. Yeah, because, like, you would look at someone and if they had more chakra or more stamina, then you'd be like, okay, they're mostly taijutsu, or probably just all taijutsu. So then you yeah. would just be like, I'm going to use ninjutsu against them. Aha! And then it would be the opposite. If you saw that they had more chakra, most likely they did more genjutsu or ninjutsu. So you would go and use taijutsu against them, and well, most likely it's their weakness. And if they had, yeah. like, equal amounts, most likely they're a weapon user. Okay, I just equipped a titan bow. I want to see what it looks like when I go into fight. Oh, yeah, that's... Summons are interesting. Because it says it actually has health, so I think it'll be different to what the cat and dog are using. Hmm. I'm also sitting on 123 cash now, so... I'm sitting here at 509. Alright, Titan Bottle, go! Okay, I summon the Titan Ball. Yes. Okay, so the Titan Ball will automatically fights for you. Alright. Uh, pulls out Titan Ball, summon for five rounds. Uh, Angry Crat creates a four-headed dragon. Titan Bow creates a four-headed dragons. Okay, so they all... Um, they, they can just all create four-headed dragons. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh, I can now create a four-headed dragon from creating a snake. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have double summoned. Um, so if I'm going ninjutsu... Elemental stuff is the only one. I mean, I guess I could use the bow. Holy shit! I am getting a lot of willpower and intelligence from the from this dog. And we're not the same, just face it. Oh, oh, welcome to my domain. Do I go elemental stuff? I mean, it, it is an item that you can use. You, it would. Benefit you more than it would me. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, how much for the diamond armor? Oh, that's expensive. I mean, that's 836,000. Oh, 836 more, sorry. Mm. I need 450 more, but that's... I don't think it... Effect power 1... Oh, no, it's way better. Yeah, the uh, diamond armor is way better. 
Alright. I am going to level up Blizzard, because that's my main damage. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know what's happening, because I've gone female on mine, and I haven't found any problems whatsoever, so there's something odd with your profile. Something, something went funky. Maybe were you called Levia when you played previously? No, no. Like, this is the first character I made since it was... Yeah, and I, I think that would have been before you made Levia as well, so you wouldn't have chose Levia as a character. No, because I didn't know what, what name I wanted to go with. Yeah. Because the only thing I'm thinking is because you might have played before, and if you use the same character name as before it got into this stage, no, no, punked with it, but no, 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 no. My, I, I had like, I want to say three characters on the previous one, and none of them were female. I wasn't even playing females back then. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you have to log out and log back in and it'll be fine. Maybe. I was thinking of doing so anyway, because it is, it is 7 a.m. for me. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Probably a good idea to go to sleep, yeah. Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, do I want that? No, I think I'll go with that, yeah. I'm in the middle of training my uh, willpower, so that'll, that'll go and... Yeah. yeah, that is weird, because it, it puts everything to zero and then reboots up. Yeah. I don't know. It's funny how there actually is no, like, logout button. I'm pretty sure it's just sign out. Like, you click on your little picture thing and it comes yeah. up. This is a modernized version of a long-running online text-based game based on a new technology stack and sprinkled with a bit of AI technology. Oh no, I can't log in. How dare you? No. No. I can't play the game. <laughs> oh, when you get back tomorrow from work, maybe I might be playing Final Fantasy fourteen and streaming it. Yeah, it depends on when I'm done and finished. Like if, like, if I'm streaming by myself, I'll probably be starting Final Fantasy seven. Yeah, because I just finished six. Yeah, that's fair. Still can't wait for you to play Federal 14, though. That's going to be great. Hell yeah. <laughs> Start from the beginning. I want to go... I actually do want to go through the story again, but I want to go through as a Lalafell. I honestly want to go as a Lalafell, but go, like, Marauder into, like... Um like into a dark night just so it's like this little thing is beating the crap out of everyone. Oh yeah, no, it's fun being a tank as a Lollafell. I I once had a paladin Lollafell. Yeah. And it's just like I came up with this uh, the whole thing where it's just like look, the enemies have to pay attention to me because I'm adorable. <laughs> and it just well, be like imagine, just... imagine like a lancer that's Lollafell. Yeah, anything like that is just hilarious. But the main reason, there's only one reason why I want to play a Lollafell and let's get to the game is because in one of the expansions, I think it's Shadowbringers, um, there's a town that's full of, they call them dwarves because you're in a different realm, but it is Lollafells. And you can't enter their buildings unless you're a Lollafell. Oh. Yeah. All the quest, all the quests are outside, but there are some doors where you walk up to it, and it says you must be a Lullafell to enter here. Oh, I was, I was going to tell you must be. That would be funny if it said like you must be this short to enter. <laughs> no, it says you must be a Lullafell, and I got angry because Shion is 
like walking up to the door, I made her as short as possible. <laughs> and yet she, she stands in the doorway and can literally fit, but it says, nope, you're not a Lollapel. Yeah, just imagine Dents trying to fit into one. <laughs> no. <laughs> he would put he would poke his head in. He'd probably fill up the whole door with just his head. Yep. His broad shoulders will block the door and no one can get in, and then he'll get stuck. Yep. <laughs> it is an idea uh... to play through all of Final Fantasy Fourteen again on stream just to do that. That is an idea, but I mean, if you do that, I'm more than happy to, like, make a character with you and play it with you. That'd probably be one way to do it. Because, hey, if we, like, end up doing that, we could probably maybe get Snazzy to join in, and we could, like, all make Lollapil and, like, make, make a little Lollapil party. I think Punk was trying to, <laughs> wanting to do that, too. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to do that so bad. Well, maybe if we talk to... Uh... Snazzy about it. If he, he brings it up with her, she'll come play. True. The problem with that is that the more people involved, the the harder it is to get everyone together. Yeah. We I know this. We'll have to wait to get to a certain point in the story. Yeah. It's like, we know this. We know how hard it is. Yeah. But I mean, like, just at least, like, even if we just play it together sort of thing, like, even if we're just rushing to try and get to the part where we can become like a party and that sort of thing that would be good but yeah well like if i was to do it um one i'd be focusing on just the story so there wouldn't be any extra stuff yeah maybe here and there depending on what i want to get like especially a specific class or something but it'd be focusing on just the main story and the expansions because that will take a lot a long time on its own. Mm. And some of wow. the extra stuff we have to do in order to actually continue the main story because it's important. Yeah. Um, well, if you were looking to do a Lollapel um, run, what cost would you think about doing? That I don't know. Because honestly, I want to like start as a marauder and become like a thief so I can just run around like a little small assassin. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no. I I think I'd want to go monk. Okay. Be a tiny little Lollafell that just punches hard. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm just imagining like a two foot Saitama now. <laughs> One punch, Lollapel! But, it's first really off... Punch. Yeah, before, before any of that, before we even get anywhere, I gotta finish Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, which I'm excited for, X, I'm not touching XI, I don't know if I'll touch XII, XIII, XIV, and then we get to fourteen. Yeah, you know, maybe when you finally get to fourteen, I'll be level 70. Yeah, there we go. Now, by the time I get to Final Fantasy XIV, the new expansion will be out. I don't think, is there a new expansion? Yes. Be a new expansion? Yes. Okay, I thought they were done with the expansion. No. Cool. They have a new one coming out next year with a new class. Nice. And this new class has, like, it's like a twin sword user, and it... It makes it so that the two swords, like, you attach the two hilts together and it becomes, like, a double blade. Yeah. Similar to, like, the way, like, Zidane used his swords in Final Fantasy IX. Yep. Like, when you combine two of his daggers together. Yeah, that's, I think it's, like, what is it, Dawn Tide or something like that? I can't remember. I can't remember what it's actually called, but it's it is coming out next year. Cool. Well, I guess maybe you should go for that one then. <laughs> a little lala fell up and wields two swords. Ah, oh, uh, see, oh, I could maybe. 
I don't know what level I have to be to get it. That's the thing. I mean, it'll probably be the same as, like, the Black Knight and everything, because it'll come out with an expansion. Not quite. Not it'll quite. Like not quite. Um, I think Reaper, you have to be, like, I think level 50? Whereas the Dark Knight, you had to be, like, level 20 or something. No, not 20. I could be wrong. that anyway you should probably get some sleep yeah my my brain can't think right now <laughs> <laughs> but yeah well, that was fun hanging out man it was yes all caught on stream <laughs> yeah um but, okay um if you feel like you like want to play stuff like that then feel free to hit me up um uh, I might be streaming when you come home. Um, when you want to stream, I don't know. Yeah. Depends well, on how late I want to stream, I guess. It depends on that and depends on, like, how I feel. Because I, usually I get home and I want to have, like, something to eat, like dinner or something, and then I start streaming. So I'll, I'll keep yeah. an eye out and I'll look around first before I start doing the stream and see what's going on. I mean, knowing me, I might start, like, early in the morning my time and go probably all the way to, like, around this time, maybe. Mm. So... Depending on how much I can take playing Final Fantasy XIV. But anyway. Worst case scenario, I'll just join you in Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah? Because it's, it's, I think, I could be wrong, but I think I went and made a carrot, uh, a Lullafell on the Australian servers. It depends on what um, server you actually did on the Australian servers, though, because I play on Ravana, I'm pretty sure. Ravana. I thought you picked Sephiroth. I originally picked that when I was first testing things out, but then after that, I started playing like, on Ravana because that was not like the Sephiroth from what I saw was mostly based around like RP stuff. Mm. So I was like, I'm not going to be bothered looking at all the RP spam in my chat. Well, so, one way or another, yeah. I could always make another character in there, but we wouldn't be able to meet each other for a while. I think I'm getting to the point where I can almost start expanding out, so... Because yeah. I'm, like, level 30-something at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you may be level 30-something, but it's, like, I think a level 20 quest that gets you out there. Yeah. Well, last time I did it, I got up to, like, level 40, and that's when I started expanding around and going to different places. So it should be 10 levels before I start doing that. Because mm. I think it's after you defeat Ifrit. Yeah. Which I'm getting pretty close to doing, so. Anyway, you need sleep. Yes. Alright. It, um, it, it has been great playing this game again. I'm glad it's back. I'm glad they're making updates. Mm. Can't wait till we um, get the party going. Party started. And I... I will end the call and everything. And you have fun ending stream. I will. Thank uh, you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining on my stream. Yeah, that's all right. It was glad to have you. Yeah, right. yeah, it was fun being there. All right. Have a good night, mate. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Bye. And that is going to be it. All right. Time to sign off. We'll see what happens tomorrow, whether I am uh, joining in on another stream for Final Fantasy XIV or I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. Either way, Final Fantasy VII is coming. It's ready to go, so that will be coming soon. Either way, everyone have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I'll see you tomorrow for one something. Bye.